Hey, how's it going, my guys? Welcome back to FE7 0% Growth Iron Man playthrough, or play halfway through, depending on when we die. We're on a pirate ship. This is the map that I fear the most. And honestly, I think we can get a game over in pretty much every map, uh, like for the next four, five, six chapters, because they're all pretty difficult. And this is a stretch of the game where we only have one really good pre promote in our boy Marcus, or our man Marcus, and everyone else is just kind of. They range somewhere between useful and bad, <laughs> somewhere. Uh, but we do have a couple things that I did not have last time going into this that might make it a bit easier. Uh, we have a promoted raven, uh, trained to level 10 last chapter, uh, 
barely got there. Barely got there, but we did get there. Uh, we don't we don't have a silver sword, but we do have a killing edge for him. And now we can use axes. He's got that epic 17 speed. You can double mercs. Pretty cool. Um, I got promoted Sing from Lin mode. Uh, unfortunately, his bases are actually really bad. I was counting on him doing a lot of work here. Um, I have a very specific plan for him, in fact, that I'll get into in a minute. But it turns out he's not as good as I was hoping he would be. So I think if I do that plan, I might die. So I have to change plans. Uh, then we have Oswin, who is... He's actually really good, but he has low movement, so he can't be everywhere he needs to be. Uh, for example, if my, my, my original plan was to have Marcus... Um, like, mow through, like, we, we kill one Merc here, right? He put Marcus here, and then we do what Dandan did with Loan and put Sane around here, and kill this Shaman. And we also have Marcus kill this Shaman, and then we'd be able to choke the points here, right? Because these foot enemies, they cannot move through these Paladins, so they would not be able to join the rest of the boys on the ship here. And then we could choke the points with Oswin, and we like, regulate whatever comes in. Turns out that if I put Sane here, I didn't like say it, I didn't, I didn't play it, I didn't test it. Um, but I think if I put Sane here, he can die pretty easily because he faces like a mercenary from here, an archer from here, an archer from here, and then maybe another merc here if I don't manage to kill them all. That'd be pretty sad. Um, I think I can potentially kill. I think I killed this shaman with a silver lance in one hit with Sane because he's only got like 25 total HP defense and Sane has 25 attack, so he could kill this guy in one hit, right? Marcus would kill this guy, and this guy would probably kill with, like, Kanas plus Raven or something. That would only leave this guy alive. But unfortunately, that means that I think Sane still dies, because he has to face this guy and this guy, who also reaches him there, unfortunately. Actually, this guy doesn't reach him there, so maybe we can do it after all. Hmm. Now I'm starting to doubt myself, and my, and my math as well. But the problem with Sane is that he gets doubled by mercenaries. That's the big thing here. Uh, this guy, for example, has 10 um, weight on his weapon, and then... Um, he still has 12 speed, so he's double sane. He still doubles Kent as well, so Kent wouldn't have helped in this case. But there's some mercs that I think Kent would not get doubled by. Do I plan on stealing the speed wing? Um, the ring. Well, I can do it. I have Matthew on the field. The thing is, getting to Luna, dude, might be difficult. I already, like, don't know if I can get the speed of the, the Legion Whip with everything that's going on. Um, also, 0% uh, growth means they don't grow. Iron Man means you don't reset. Uh, let me know if the audio is alright. Um, don't donate unless you can afford it. And uh, we're gonna have some fun. Rebecca's dead. Uh, we'll play for the next three hours. What else do I usually say at the start of streams? I don't know. I think I just said a bunch of things I don't even say, but there you go. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling Matthew for the Elysium Whip. I want to get the pure water, but I don't think I'll be able to. I think it's too difficult for 0%. Uh, but now I'm starting to doubt if I want to do the plan or not, because I like, I was going to have same with just like Silver Lance Iron Axe and just like if you die, you die, you know, the, the, the usual thing. Like, you know, if people, if people are dead, then they're dead. But. Like, if I put Sane here, right, if I manage to kill this mercenary with... Well, Oswin can't want to kill him. But Oswin can weaken him to the point where he gets killed by Sane on one attack, so... Let me math this out, alright? Let me let me do some last bit preps on screen, because this you guys requested anyway, right? So let's say I manage to kill these three enemies, which I think is what I can do. I don't think I can kill all four of them, but let's say I kill three, and Sane ends up here. Uh, what would happen? Uh, he has 28 HP and 8 defense. This guy hits him for 7 damage. He goes down to 21. This guy can't reach him. None of these guys can reach him. This guy does reach him though. Uh, he does 15 minus 8. That's 7. Times 2 is 14. So the guy would be down to... Uh, I think I said it was 21. So he'd be down to 7 HP. And if this guy hits him, then he's probably dead. Uh, actually, this guy's 15... Yeah, if I kill this guy as well, then I survive. Barely. Also, if he dodges one hit, he'd survive. Yeah, I already factored in a weapon triangle, actually. Uh, like, I'm, I'm subtracting that early. So this guy, 16. This guy, 16. And this guy, 15. But basically, they're all 15. They're basically all 15, because, you know, the weapon triangle. So they all do 7. Uh, and then one guy gets to double him, so he takes 7 times 2. So... Uh, yeah, this guy doubles him. This guy does not because he will die. Assuming I weaken him with Oswin and a Javelin. Yeah. I think I still risk a death on Sane. Unless I can kill this guy. Uh, the problem is I have to kill this guy for Marcus to make it here and block this spot. So I have to reserve Kanas and Raven to kill him. I guess what I can do is like try for a Killing Edge crit on this guy. And if I get it, 
then I can use Kanas to weaken this guy instead and a kill with Oswin. But that's assuming that I get a crit with Raven, a hit with Oswin's Javelin, which is like an 88 hitter or something, or like a 70 something, I don't remember. Um, and then Kanas is to hit as well. I did give uh, I did give Saint the energy ring, yes. Uh, Oswin Silver Lance. You can't really trade chain in this. I mean, the, the question is like, who's gonna like take the Silver Lance and trade it to Saint, right? Because if 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 Oswin goes here to like if Oswin goes here and Silver Lances, like what happens from there, right? Because Saint has to be here with the Silver Lance. Like that's gonna take so many characters. Just choke the stairs. Well, the thing is, I could choke the stairs here. Um, that's something I definitely considered. Uh, but I want to choke here because it regulates more enemies from coming onto the ship, and it's uh, like getting like choking here is like tempting. But then these Pegasus Knights come in and they have like they they move like full move turn one right, so they move like around here somewhere. Then they can reach people that are standing here. Uh, the shamans can go on top of the shops and reach my characters that are standing here. So this all gets very cramped. So I'm trying to avoid that. Uh, but that is my backup plan. That is my backup plan. Is to just stand here and take the stairs. It's really tempting, now that I realize that this archer actually cannot reach Sane when he goes here, I'm really tempted to just kill the Shaman and just roll with it. Like, if I get the Killing Edge crit with Raven, which is like... slightly better than a 50-50, then I can get it. I'm also like, sort of okay with Sane dying, but not really. I, I don't think it's gonna be very useful this map, but I think for Dragon's Gate, it'll be very useful. Or rather, I don't think it'll be very useful next map, and the map after. Oh, it's so tempting, just... I mean, I think I'm going for that crit anyway, and if I get it, I can try to go for the same thing. If I don't get it, that's another story. You know, there's another like, good reason to not go for the choke, or to not go for the... I mean, it'll be choke either way. Um, I, want, I want the shop turn one, which I can only do with like a mounted unit. Uh, like, I can use like... Um, facility, go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, to stay here, be safe. Rescue job saying, uh, rescue job Oswin, uh, Oswin's too heavy, my guy. He has like 16 con. There's literally no one on my army who can carry him, I think. He's too heavy. He's too big. Uh, that was like actually one reason I was considering not promoting Oswin at all until this map is so I can rescue drop him with my Cavaliers. Bring a movement star. Got him. Yeah, I think, I think I'll try to killing edge crit and then make a call from there. Because if I get the crit, right, then we can kill this Merc as well. And then we can kill all the enemies. But that's only possible if we get the Killing Edge crit. Uh, Priscilla... Yeah, Florina can do it, but then, like, who do I undeploy, right? Because I don't have many vulnerabilities, so I need Priscilla for healing. I can't undeploy Hector. And all these enemies I need for something. Like, I want to keep Kanas. Body ring to Oswin? Yeah, 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 no, no. I need to make sure that Kanas can reach both mercenaries. Because if the Raven doesn't get the crit, I need Kanas to finish off this dude. Uh, we're doing the Marcus thing anyway. What I can do is um, kill Merc with Raven plus Kanas, and then Marcus goes here and chokes the point anyway. And we just don't choke that point with Sane. Uh, we just keep him safe and back and just like shot with him or something. And then we use Oswin to choke this point at the very least, or this point actually, if we fail. And that would also be fairly safe. Uh, but not great. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, Imberly? That's nice to hear. Uh, you also gotta make sure that the Pegasus Knights don't suicide, but that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, they have, like, enough attack speed to where, like, they don't double Hector, but Hector doesn't double them either. Alright, let's, uh, let's play. Let's see if Raven gets that crit. Burn is weekend level 10. Alright, let's see if we can get that crit. Raven, I have faith in you. I actually don't know how much faith I have. Do I have animations on? I do, right? Yeah. So let me know if the audio is alright, and we'll go from there. Uh, 37... Also, you have a nice at 2% chance, chance to just almost die on a spot here, which is also very cool, and I like it. Um, what are the odds here? Like, 63 over over to the power of 2 or whatever? We should have, like, a 50-50-ish shot and getting a crit here. Maybe a little better. Alright, let's go. Crit. Raven, come on. I swear to God, if you don't get this crit, it's gonna be very annoying. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So that means we're not blocking the points. That means we're not blocking the points with Sane. Unfortunate. Uh, we will have to go in here and attack with Kanas. I'm pretty sure he's not going to attack Kanas anyway. I'm just going to give Raven the Hand Axe. So that he counters... Well, actually the Shamans are not staying alive. Well, actually the back Shaman is, so we should give him the Hand Axe. This is correct, yes. Lucy's is on the bench, don't worry. He won't notice that Raven is gone. Okay, thank God I hit at least. We haven't used Kanas a, a single time so far. 
He's been doing other things. He's been busy. Okay, now Marcus goes here. I'm gonna kill the shaman that's close to us. Uh, I want to use a ranged weapon because uh, there are more ranged weapons, more enemies on the way. So we kill this dude. And at the very least, this will mean that the enemies from the left side will not be able to get to our main squad for a little bit. We dodge Marcus. I'm actually sort of low on javelins. It's annoying. Well, it was like, it was a reasonably reliable critical, and if it worked, I could have done something. Since it didn't work, I still have a plan. That's the important thing. I'm not relying on that. There's a difference, okay? There's a difference. Uh, Raven is a little low, but I don't think he dies to Shaman plus Steel Sword, dude. Because he actually has 4 res, so that's like 10 attack power. This guy's not doing 10 damage to him, right? He actually is. Aren't you? Are you doing 10 damage? Really? 16, 17 with upper triangle advantage? Yeah, because of the hand axe, he's actually killing me. Uh, but I know the one range dude will move first. So what I can do, maybe, is kill the mercenary with uh, Saint plus Oswin, and then he won't die. Of course, this means that Oswin has to hit this 61. Then Saint finishes off, and he fights like a couple dudes here, but that's fine. That's what Saint can handle, like a couple enemies at most. Let's try that. Please hit. Cool. But if you kill the shaman from where the mercenary can't reach, you want to trick point it's safe. Yeah. Something like, like here. Uh, I don't know what you mean exactly, but like you mean from here? Or like kill the shaman from here? That can work. Uh, the thing is Raven dies right now unless I like trade around something. Because this guy can kill... Well, you can only kill Raven if... Well, let me put it a different way. If this guy attacks Raven, which I think he will because Raven has... Well, actually I think he will attack Kanas. Because Kanas he doubles, probably. 9, double 9... Oh, actually, he doesn't double Kanas. Let me think here. I think he should attack Kanas because uh, Kanas has less defense than Raven. But does he? He does. Does he end up on lower HP? Yeah, he does. Because like Raven has slightly better defense. Slightly. But they don't see that they can combine for a kill. He sh should go for Kanas. We could also bait the mercenary into attacking someone like Priscilla, but that's very super, du super dubious. Like, and like, killing the Shaman is a little pointless when it just exposes Sane to a lot of shit over here. I think I'd rather just kill the Mercenary. <laughs> heal Raven? Well, the thing about healing... I, yeah, I could heal Raven from here. But if I want to do that, then I should just kill the, the Shaman, right? I can kill the Shaman and then heal Raven, but then that, that would expose Priscilla to the Mercenary. But, if I do this... Uh, what, what is Hector's hit here? I want to know. It's very, uh, it's very bad. Very close to the Anguji, yeah, like, I don't know about that one. I think killing the Mercenary is correct here. I also want to like block the Shaman from reaching the upper part of the ship. I think killing him from up is correct. We could trade Oswin a Javelin. Oh, he already has one. Yeah, I think we just let the Merc go. And then, I think, ideally the same would have a Javelin, but his hit is so bad with it that I'd rather have him an Iron Lance. And then just semi-reliably kill the Merc. Next defeat game, I don't know, I just saw some rumors on Twitter, but you know how those are. You know the thing with those, is that the rumors. Alright, Sane, you gotta hit this. Thank you. It's also a shame that Oswin doesn't have S-Rank Lances yet, but I think he'll reach it this chapter. Okay, this enables us to, I guess, go shopping. Uh, I want to fight the Pegasus Knights, I don't want to kill them, but I want to fight them both with Hector, probably. Which means we're probably healing Hector next turn or something. Uh, I want to fight them both. Uh, the only thing is they can block each other. I think the upper one moves first, but I'm not entirely sure. I think Matthew... The best they can do is probably, like, bait... I can maybe bait the Shaman into attacking Matthew. Which would be okay. I could even shop with Matthew, maybe. Because... Uh, the only enemy that can reach him on the shops is the Shaman, and I'm okay with Matthew getting hit there. Because I gotta buy phones at some point, I don't have many. I also wanna buy some Javelins, hand axes. How much gold do I have? 4 and 130. I should've sold my short bow. I didn't sell a couple things I should've sold. Not a mistake. Bad. No one here is hurt. I can shop with Priscilla, she can go back anyway. She's not healing Raven this turn. Although, maybe she should. Because she's not getting attacked by the Shaman anyway, it's like the last turn she could probably save. Yeah, we should we should heal with the Priscilla. Heal here. 
pretty sure this is safe. Sorry if I check range like a lot, but this is a really, really intense map. I think getting a game over here is only gonna happen if I really royally screw up. But at the same time, um, it's a very easy map to lose someone that I hold dear. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, now we just put Matthew, like we can go to the shop and get some javies. Get some low on those. Javelin, 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 and Axe, and Axe, and Axe. And then we leave like a little bit for phones. Like this is enough for five phones, that should be enough for a while. There you go. And then Hector should be in range of both Pegasus Knights, but not so that only one can attack him maybe somehow. Maybe like this, and then just use the Iron Axe. And then uh, they'll come up like above and to the left of him, that's probably fine. Like from here. Yeah, this should be fine. And then we uh, we hope that we don't die. The scary thing is the Pegasus Knights next turn. That's what I'm really worried about. Okay. This is a great choke one for Osmond for now. It's a bit of a waste of his talents because he's so strong. I'd rather have him attacking like the bottom where the Pegasus Knights are. Okay. I'm not worried about Marcus yet, especially because he just doesn't get hit apparently. By the way, next PvP map is also this map. So hopefully I'll be able to get past it. Or you guys have to watch it twice in a row. Okay, so Hector's gonna take a bunch of damage, but he probably doesn't have to do anything next turn. Maybe kill one of the Pegasus Knights. Nerf bows? Why would you need to nerf bows? They're finally good. Three houses finally made him good by just making a skill that says, yeah, actually that whole thing about bows having a flaw, that's no longer a thing. Okay, and you can see how precarious this gets with these four Pegasus Knights up here. That's why I want to choke the bottom thing, because now the archer's gonna be out here. So Matthew gets hurt. Or maybe he'll dodge, we'll see. Okay, I guess the one annoying thing about Matthew is he has to trade away one item before he can steal the Elysian Whip. I guess he can discard his sword. Nice dodge, Sane. I think Sane blocking the Merc choke point would be great. Because Sane is bulky enough to take one hit, but he doesn't unexpectedly kill a bunch of them. And that way I can leave Osmond to something else. This is really good, but this was like the only way... Yeah, this is the only thing he can do. Okay, these Shaman's getting the hell out of here. This is what you want, killing enemies. Marcus is not getting hit here. Okay, and this guy. Yeah, I appreciate these guys being gone, because they hit kind of hard. Damn, Marcus is not getting hit. Goodbye. Uh, yes, if, if Fargus had been gone into the arena, I, I would have lost, but... Like, I wouldn't have, like... Mia didn't think of it, but if she did, I would have just told her, like, please don't do that, because it's going to make the episode short and boring. I think Kanas is going to end up killing one of the pegs if he has the attack power, which he does. So Kanas... Honestly, Raven wouldn't be bad either, so like Raven and Kanas can kill them. Uh, the upper one has to whip, which is great. Uh, Matthew is out here. I should probably not have brought the lockpick at all. But I can't Murnus this turn. I think I might drop the Iron Sword. And then just steal the whip and go from there. Maybe visit Murnus next turn. Probably healing Hector with Priscilla. And then killing the other Pegasus Knight with Hector. And that also leaves Priscilla safe from the Pegasus Knights. I think Marcus is staying just where he is. Because there's only a Merc here. I would love to get go one left. Maybe Raven. There's nothing going on here right now, so. Oh, this guy's the Lance Reaver. Uh, but Raven, he has the Iron Axe. So, like, staying there would be pretty good. We can go, like, say, Oswin here. Kill the Archer or the Mercenary. No, they can't kill the Mercenary. I definitely want to keep someone here, and then put the other person... I need to have Oswin here, but he can't reach that, so maybe Saint has to go there, at the bottom. Drop Rebecca? Yeah, maybe I should have brought Rebecca, the dead person. I would love to kill one Pegasus Knight, but I don't even know if, if, if Saint is going to hit here. Oswin does not kill the Merc, my guy. He is uh, full health. Very full health. Even with Silver, he doesn't kill. I also have to kill this Shaman, which will probably end up being Raven. Because uh, I don't really have another option. Uh, which means it leaves these Pegasus Knights alive. And that's why I wanted... Oh, I guess the Tukunabu on point would really help with that. Mm. Yeah, I think Matthew goes here, drops his sword, steals the thing. Priscilla heals Matthew and goes out of range of enemies. Raven... Can you Oko this guy somehow? I guess if I use the Killing Edge, I have a better, a better shot at doing it. Pegasus Knights, they like four-shot Raven, so they're probably going for like Kanas instead if they have the option. 
would be really nice if like I could block that point with Raven and have Marcus go elsewhere. And there's no reason I can't do it, except the fact that I have to kill the shaman somehow. Saying to kill that shaman. And then uh, like he is silver, he can kill the shaman right now without taking a counterattack. And then I can have Marcus go right. And Oswin stay here. And that would pretty much solve this entire thing. And we can kill the archer, maybe. Do you double the archer? You do, right? Yeah, because it's a steel bow. So we can use the iron lance to kill the steel bow archer. And that would just leave the mercs here. We just give him no options to attack anything at all. I think I like that option the best. I think Sane kill this guy. Yeah. And then Kanas. I don't think Kanas can Oko Peg. He can actually kill Pegas in one, in one round. But he gets like three shot, I think. Two shot even. Yeah, two shot. So he can't do that. I think, yeah, Kanas is going up. We can put Kanas maybe in a spot where this Pegasus Knight attacks him. Yeah. So Raven kills that guy. He probably has to use a sword. And then maybe you bait away some of the dudes over here. Because I think if Raven faces too many pegs, he dies. I don't really like Raven dying. To Pegasus and Hector. We kill one with Hector and one with uh, Kanas. That's the plan. I think I'm going for that. Yeah. Which means Mark has to move Marcus away first. That's the most risky thing I'm doing this turn, I think. Okay, we're killing this guy with uh, Sane. Hopefully he hits in one hit. If not, it's going to be weakened. Yeah, good. Okay, get out of here. Hopefully this turn is good. I'm a little worried. Not going to lie. I have to heal Hector. That should all work out. Um, Marcus. Show this point, right? Yeah, and we kill a Pegasus Knight. I guess I'll use the Hand Axe so that the Lance Reaver guy... Yeah, it's less dangerous. Kill this peg, so we have one less in range here. Which will make Ravens a little bit less scared. And then we're going to try to put Kanas in a spot where one of the Pegasus Knights can attack him as well. Oh yeah, I could have broken my Javelin, but I actually like having the Javelin as an option later. So then Raven goes here. I'm kind of tempted to just give him an Hand Axe and just not do anything. Because then he has a triangle to Pegasus Knights. But I think it makes more sense to just kill the guy. It doesn't make sense either way. Let's see if Hector and Kanas hit their targets, because that's also a worrying aspect of this. Osman can do whatever he wants, really. Um, so you can go here. Where do we want Kanas exactly? It depends on where he goes. It depends on where... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. We want Kanas here to bait this one Pegasus Knight. So Kanas has to kill this guy. Which means Matthew steals from here. But when there's. How does Priscilla heal then? Do we just hand axe with Hector? Is that what we have to do? I'm not gonna forget to steal, don't worry. Like, cause I'm, I gotta have move Matthew. The thing is, where do I steal from? They're in a kind of annoying position. I could also put Hector exposed to them with the hand axe equipped. Cause they have his one use on it, so they would love to hit him with it. Like, I can use one hand axe to kill a Pegasus Knight, and use the other one to bait a Pegasus Knight. And that way, well, I'm more likely to miss. Also, oh, we can only hit the, this upper Pegasus Knight. I guess we should check if that hits first. But if I had to use the thing... Alternatively, just don't do that. Can Kanasa have next to Mernus to attack one? He can go here, yeah. The thing is, I want Kanasa in range of a Pegasus Knight. Like, just one. So he, he's baited away from Raven. Because I think Raven will be his favorite target. If I don't. Actually, Raven with a sword, probably less of a target than Sane with a lance, so probably shouldn't worry about it. Because uh, Raven has 7 defense. Well, no, he has less defense. They might go for Raven. I could just put him here with the, with the hand axe and just hope, but then I have, don't kill the Merc and I hate that. Whatever, let's just do this. Let's just steel sword this dude. Or, yeah, steel sword is probably fine. Yeah, that's fine. I guess I just have to hope that the Pegasus Knights don't attack the same person twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they can't reach Matthew. Okay, so discard the stupid sword. Steal the, the whip. Well, yeah, Hector can yield next turn, I guess. So that's I don't have to do it this turn. Uh, Kanas only kills one Pegasus, right? Like the upper one. Oh, you can kill both. It's who was having trouble? I guess it was Hector with the hand axe. Yeah. But I'm using Iron Axe. 
I do have to use Iron Axe and hit though, that's the scary part. He does have Matthew in range for support now though, so that's like nice-ish. Kinda nice. Yeah, I have to kill the bottom one with Kanas because Hector has to get the top one if he uses the hand axe. If if I if I wanted to use Iron Axe, then it doesn't matter which one I do I go with. Um we'll kill this one with Hector. Heal next turn. I guess it's gonna have to be what we go with. And I guess Priscilla can shop for Vols then this turn. Uh kill Kanas the top one and then heal Hector from where it was. Uh, yeah, that's also true. Okay, I, I like that better, actually. It's a better idea. Ghosting in chat right here, but I appreciate it. Okay, let's hope Kanas hits then. Because then Kanas goes from here, and he does bait the Pegasus Knight, hopefully. That should work out. Yeah. Now we can heal Hector first, before he attacks. And that's also really nice. I like that. Strategizing with chat. Will Priscilla be safe? Yeah, because she's like, that's out of range. That spot is out of range. Uh, so we can heal Hector first if we want to. If he misses, he's still in a bit of trouble, but uh, it's nowhere near as bad. Uh, don't heal Matthew, heal Hector. I guess if Hector misses, then Matthew is going to die. Class promotion. Uh, Knaas hasn't done anything yet, and also we don't have a Guiding Ring yet. But other than that, yeah, Class promotion. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're shooting for it. It's going to take a little bit. Okay, Hector, please hit. Good. Just traded Guiding Ring. What Guiding Ring? You mean, you mean this guy in ring? That's on the boss? Yeah, that one. I would like that. So hopefully this one moves first, goes for Knaas, and the other one's Suicide and Raven are sane. Uh, he has the Silver Lance. It might break. Might not. We'll see. He Oko's though, so it's not going to waste too many uses. Uh, we need to kill this uh, bow guy, because otherwise he's going to... Well, he doesn't do very much, but it'd be good if he was gone. This Merc is also here. Uh, he might go for Marcus because of Weapon Triangle, but he might go for Sane. Sane so might bite the dust if they all go for him, but hopefully that one Pegasus Knight gets bait away. Prevents that. Trade the whip to whip Priscilla for reliability. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have traded away from Matthew, I guess. But next turn I can just visit the convoy with Matthew, maybe use a Vuln. Uh, I bought Javelins, but not Vulns yet. Okay, so there is the Lance Reaver dude. I don't think we get this Lance Reaver. I think we get another one later. Not sure. Let's see. Uh, Oswin, I'm not worried about. Merc double Saint, yeah. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> Saint can definitely die this turn. But if he dodges like a Pegasite, I think he should be okay. Although I would have liked to keep, I would really like to keep Saint for Dragon's Gates. I think he'd be really helpful there. Yeah, it's 14. It's seven times two. Um, but you never know, he could dodge like any of these hits, they're all 60s. But if he dies, he dies. He could do some dodging though. Now he's lower HP than Kanas, now he's gonna get attacked. Yeah, now he's gonna get attacked a bunch. Saying, okay, good dodge, good dodge. Okay, he's gonna take at least one of them with him, that's good. Dude, what are you talking about? Lin isn't even here. Okay, don't go for pain. Go for Kanas, please. Uh, saying, no. Saying, you're S tier, no. Your S tier, he's gonna have the Silver Lance with him too. Saying, come on. Is it dodge time? Is this what we trained him for all the way in limb mode? Is this what we did it for? Saying, come on, dodge. <gasps> Miracle. Miracle right here. Miracle right here. Never punished. Never punished. All right. There's an expression in Dutch that says, we can make clean ship now. We can, we can clean the ship now. Because look, there's nothing here. We get a chill turn. We can heal him and everything. We can completely take control of the ship now. Thanks, Sane. S tier for him. Easy S tier. Honestly, above S tier. Nice. Alright, let's bait some goons. We can have, like... We can go for Zoldam. I don't want to. We can go for Zoldam, though, but... I don't want to. Let's see. We could kill this guy with Sane and just move on with Raven. Like, go all the way here. That's not a good idea. Damn, this is so good. You sure you only applied the 7% growth patch? <laughs> yeah, we could like try to go towards Zoldan. The thing is, there's so many enemies on this map. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to. 
I also need to like free up his inventory. I guess just visit the thing this turn. Uh, I can trade away the things with Priscilla, I guess. Move Matthew uh, to here. Move Priscilla here, trade and heal Matthew. Kill this guy with Kanas. Let's check if that hits first, because this is definitely what I want to do, is kill with Kanas here. We can use, like, Marcus the shop, maybe? Got him. Yeah, it's, it's, that wasn't too luck. It was pretty lucky, but... You know, it, it... How do I explain this? It's not a risk you would usually take an Iron Man, and it really helps us that it, that it did work out, but it was not the perfect strategy for sure. This is like, again, this is a chapter you could play like 5,000 times. Uh, Matthew's still low HP, that's also worrying. Uh, let's see, so we're healing Sane, and then we're trading this stuff with Matthew, I guess, yeah. We could do it the other way around, too. Uh, if we trade for Priscilla's phone, or she doesn't have one. I think Hector's shopping for phone. It's a good play here. Um, we can sell one in hand next, I guess, well, whatever. Just one, two, three, four. And now we're poor. I could buy one more, I guess. I could buy a door key. In case Matthew dies. That's probably correct. Have one dorky around. I don't think I need any of these tomes. Maybe like one more flush for- Ah, actually I'm out of money. I think I'm keeping the rest for like my post new resolve shopping spree. I don't get the silver card in 0% because Matthew is too slow to steal the silver card. Okay, so Priscilla gonna heal. You're out of range, right? Like you're out of range. Yeah, pretty much. It doesn't matter. Priscilla is like the best res in the game anyway. So we mend Sane for his effort. 200 cost per use? Are you saying, are you saying bro, it's high or low? I'm not sure what you mean there. Because it's bro either way. Okay, Matthew. Bring back your stuff, give it to someone else. Like, just give your javelins to Priscilla, Illusion Whip as well. Here you go. I also want to just keep growing it up here. Probably use the javelin to start getting rid of the archer. It doesn't really matter what he does. As long as at some point he needs to move down to the thing. Let's see, do we just have Raven take care of this whole business over here? This guy's Flux. This guy's Nosferatu. 14 and 17. He's not gonna die off that alone. I'm just wondering if I can attack on player phase safely. I don't think I can. Uh, but I can put Sane in a way. I think there's one res. He dies. He actually dies in two hits to these guys. We should probably use Marcus here and have Raven go here instead. Marcus is way better res than everyone else here. Yeah, just have Raven choke this point. There's no one here anyway. And he's pretty good against Marks overall. I think I like that better. Let's go, uh, let's go Marcus here. Uh, maybe get a new Javelin, even. Javelin, gimme. Give gimme give Javelin. Go out here, fights. And then Raven goes here and fights Marks. He's way better at that. Way better. Okay, go get your sword rank up, Raven. Axe rank is later. Matthew can get the late ring because he's speed tied. That's why we uh, prepared him for stealing. And then we can use Saint to bait, fight one shaman. But there's no point. There's no point in doing anything with Saint here. He's just kind of pointless this turn. Uh, what can he do that's useful? We can Iron Lance and then trade the Javelin to the top. We can Javelin and then trade the Iron Lance to the top. I think that's the best thing he can do. Uh, I know there's going to be reinforcements that he needs to do something about, but I have no idea what they are. We did all the shopping we have to. Uh, rescue Matthew. Nah, I think Matthew's fine walking, because Sane's not moving full move anyway, neither is Matthew. So they could can, can just walk. That's safer. I don't want him to, like, be occupied. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, he's just javelin and trade, I guess. That's the best thing I can think of for Sane to do this turn. I know there's going to be a, sh a ship from the bottom that I have to deal with. That's going to be scary. Iron Lance here. Maybe we should give Osmond the Silverlands, because he's done his job with it now. Sane, I mean. So now we just rather have um, the Silverlands as an option on Osmond. I think that's true. And we go back around here. Okay. Um, Raven, the one unfortunate thing is that he faces crit from a lot of these dudes. Do you double? Yeah, okay, goodbye. Speaking of crits. Working towards that S rank swords. For more scary crits, for more suffering from success. I forgot what the next reinforcement wave is. I know there's like a bunch of Pegasus Knights, like every single turn. This 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 map is like the most reinforcement density the whole game, I feel like. Considering how small it is, and how strong the enemies are compared to you, and everything like that. 
It's so heavy. Gotta love Marcus having 100 hit. I don't think he's in range of both, though. Is he? I don't think he is. But it doesn't matter, he can choke the point next turn. Send that to Mernus, that's another Tome for Kanasi if he needs it. Okay, there they come. That's the scary thing, but... Um... Oh, Marcus can be in range of them, that's great. This is fantastic. Oh, I could put Sane in range of this one, to, like, bait him out early. Are you double Pegasus Knights, Sane? Eight weights, down to five. Sane does double Pegasus Knights. That's that's okay, that's okay. You don't need to double Pegasus Knights, that's okay. Uh, I guess we're just using Raven then. Raven, can you fight, like... Which ones do you bait with Raven then? They don't overlap at all. I guess it's better to say bait them than nothing at all, but jeez. Yeah, they just don't overlap. What, what is this? Conquest? Yeah, Silver Lance, Mar Axe Marcus. I mean, it's because Sane is the Silver Axe and one of like not or less. So Sane is the Lance, so I want Marcus to have some kind of strong weapon, some kind of emergency weapon. Yeah, I guess it sets up a kill for Knas or something. I don't know. I don't want to stick around here because I know that they bring for some boats. I also want to have Sane with Marcus and Matthew for the steal. Oh well. Ah, uh, we can fall. We can also attack. I don't like attacking, I think. Handaxe doesn't kill. I want to use Handaxe because it will help against the Pegasus Knight. I think this is a turn where he just falls. Just don't... I mean, Priscilla, though. Priscilla wants to heal Matthew, though. Just so he can take a hit if need be. I think we Handaxe this guy. Although this guy prevents an attack. Um, let's see. I guess it's okay to have... I want to kill this guy. Uh, I want to kill them both. See, so I need Matthew to move like full move every turn to get the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. He can be two square sh shorts if he doesn't move full move every turn. His positioning is infuriating. The boss does not move. No, nope. he stands still, thankfully. The worst thing is I know I'm going to be super tempted to have Marcus fight the boss. If I'm if I'm, if I'm, I'm going to, tell me not to. Please tell me not to. Please tell me not to fight the boss with Marcus. Luna's going to kill him. I mean, next turn is... I think next turn is reinforcements from here. I think two shamans appear from here. They don't want Pathy to be there at all. Maybe I should have, like... People there to fight that. Armor Slayer. Damn, that's scary, bro. That's a scary weapon you got there. Don't scare me like that. I'm gonna stand here and just wait, I think. Block this guy off. Oh. I mean, Osman's not scared of that peg, so we don't have to do anything with that peg. Because it's night. I think these bottom ones are the most I'm worried and one of them, the ones I'm most worried about. I think he goes here with the hand axe. Because he doubles. He doesn't need to fall on this turn. And then oh Sane doesn't even reach these. Oh he does, he does. He can do this. Same here with the iron axe, I think. Tough map, dude. Tough map. Let's see, he goes on to 9. 9 HP, he goes on to 16. This guy does bring him down to 11, and then this Pegasus Knight comes in, not gonna kill him, only 17 damage, especially if we heal him this turn. I think we just get Matthew a Vuln and heal him. I don't know whose Vuln we're taking though, maybe Kanasa's, Hector's? I guess Hector can always buy a last Vuln. I think I'm gonna Vuln with Matthew, so he can take one flux or something. Get your lockpick, you don't need your lockpick right now. Let me heal Marcus. Killing the boss does end the map, but he can crit Marcus, so I don't want to. Okay. I don't have to move Marcus Matthew in his range. I want Marcus to be full HP. I also want to kill the Shaman to make... Uh, yeah, I'm going to let Matthew come closer, because... There might be a, a, a time where he has to hide from the enemy shamans on the other ship, and this gives him more options too, I think. 
I mean, if Raven goes with a Killing Edge, he has a higher chance of critting than getting crit, but it'd still be super scary. Okay, and next turn we can like rescue Matthew Priscilla or something, if need be. Oh, is this in range? No, it's not in range of the Pegasus Knights. No way. Yeah, it's not. And then Kanas down here to kill the Pegasus Knight that Sane will probably weaken. Okay. We have way more control of the ship this time than the last time at Iron Man, this uh, in 0%. Like, we got a way better start. Probably because of Sane, that turn where Sane survives and he killed like many Pegasus Knights. Warrior does not gain speed in this game. They get like some in the other games in 6, but not in this game. It's one of the reasons why Dorcas and Bart have so much trouble, they don't get speed on promotion, so they just stay not doubling. Yeah, Sane does double these. I think Kent is also would be able to double these. I think he's like one speed short, right? Shitty Sane. This is all your fault, chat, for making me choose Sane. Also, he even faces crit from Pegasus Knights, damn. We'll set this guy as S tier again. I don't think we'll get the Dragon's Gate. If I finish this map quickly, then yeah, we will, but um, probably won't. Especially if we get to 19xx, then we have four maps already before Dragon's Gate. I usually manage to get like two or three maps in. These maps are long. Like next map is gonna be hell long too. I might miss 19x if Wuhai goes very poorly. <laughs> if it goes too slowly. I could say my start was insane. I won't though, because bad puns. Get better ranks for Crit Avoid. Hey, look. I think this is like some of the worst ranks in FE7, because like XP is obviously terrible. Combat, probably not great. I mean, combat is probably fine. Okay, almost no reinforcements here. Uh, so we, as long as we kill this like pair of Pegasus Knights, Matthew has nothing to fear going here. Uh, we just... I think Matthew just moved down here. Uh, let's try to get this kill, first of all. That's the important part. The Talisman, what else in 19xx? I think an Eclipse. It's like just money, basically. Um... How likely do you think Gintin 19 xx is? Not very likely, especially because I'm not knowledgeable on like exactly how Kishuna and Ion interact. Like if I kill one, does the other vanish? Stuff like that. Dude, Raven's scaring me a lot. Uh, if this guy goes for Kanas, I'm okay with that. I mean, it's not great, but... I mean, I can kill him probably. It's probably better actually. Probably just kill him. I'll kill the Armor Slayer guy for sure. I mean, the thing about Kashuna is it's all luck based, right? I think if Raven crits him with Killing Edge and then Mark crits him with Killing Edge, he's dead. Uh, but that's like the best things I've got. Like Oswin Silverlands, maybe? That's about it. Uh, this Merc, I don't want to face him yet. I'm going to kill this Pegasus Knight. Pegasus Knight, if you will. Yeah, so much for slaying armor. I mean, Japanese FE7 has triple effectiveness. There, it makes more sense. Here, it's like, haha, nice one. Yeah, so I want to kill Ion first, and I think Kashuna's Burning Shift finishes turn 15 or so. I need to train Fiora on that map. Okay, I think next turn is when we get these reinforcements. Marcus is not healing healing yet, he also can't get it. Probably heal Raven this turn if I want to. But I'd rather have Priscilla also don't, yeah, don't, 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 do, don't do that. Um, probably have Sane around here for rescuing purposes then. Slash killing shamans. And then Matthew here. And then just have Priscilla here for healing. And just have Marcus like enemy face that one shaman that's coming at me right now. Matthew is exactly enough speed. Uh, the boss is either 11 or 12 speed. Matthew is 11 base. And we got lucky this time around. I think last time I might not have been lucky. Uh, you have 100 hit with the Javelin and the Hanax, right? It doesn't, doesn't matter. Hanax? Yeah, we'll just go with Hanax. Wait here. Don't wait here because that's in the range of the boss. And the boss doesn't move, so this is perfect. Next turn, we can grab the ring and get out of here with Matthew. What we can even do, maybe, <laughs> is camp on this ship where the boss is. Because it has less, less choke points. I think that might actually be a good move. Uh, we just move everyone away, because turn 10 or 8 or something, I think we get some reinforcements from here. But we've wiped out pretty much everything else, so I think we're moving Hector along here as well. Uh, he can fight Pegasus Knights, perhaps. There's nothing else here. We did a really good job cleaning up here. Thanks to chat's ideas. Another armor slayer. Just calm down. Os Osman is always below half health. What are you doing, guys? Yeah, Raven getting crit is scaring me every turn. I might just give the goddess icon from that one chapter to Raven. Like this kind of shit? That's not flying right here. That's not flying. I mean, if this guy crits, he doesn't die, so it's okay. It's a steel lance I'm worried about. If that crits him, he's gonna lose a big chunk of health. Big chunga. Big chungus. 
Yeah, the, crit, the hit rates are shaky, the crit rates are shaky. You only have one turn to do it. It's bad. Okay. There's the Pegasus Knights I was worried about. But thankfully I can rescue my Matthew. Unfortunately, we are facing a heavy deluge of Pegasus Knights once again. And we can only enemy phase one of them. This guy we can enemy phase with Raven though. So I think we just fall with Raven and have him try again. Um, like this guy, a crit from this guy wouldn't even kill him, right? 14 attack. 13 with a triangle, 6 per hit. Yeah, with a Vol, he doesn't die to that one. So we can kill this one with Raven on enemy phase. We kill this one with Raven. This one with Marcus. Uh, like, it's gonna be like Matthew steals. Uh, Sane rescues, go right back up. Or even like, let's see. You can even do Marcus rescues. And then Sane take drops Matthew left. Which is out of range. That will work. Mecca with the vocabulary. Book Chungus. I mean, I'm just I'm just repeating what I hear on the internet. I'm just trying to be a, a fellow kid. Um, I would like to kill the Armor Slayer guy again. I don't want to leave like Osmond alone here. It doesn't matter too much because like by the time the enemy even forms come here, it doesn't really matter. I guess we don't need Osmond to be here per se. I mean, he's only taking six, right? So we can't move him away in Fallen, I guess. I think he even needs to fall, but I'm, I just feel safer doing it. We just bought a couple new ones. I think moving Osmond away is correct, because then uh, we can potentially put him in range of Pegasus Knights next turn. Without having to be all the way up there. And he can help choking this, this plank over here, for example. I think I like that. So here, Matthew's going to be dropped left, right? So it's going to be... Marcus has to be basically where he is right now. And the same take drops him left. Uh, we can heal Marcus as well. No, probably can't, but it's okay. Do I have end if they invade the shops? Nope. <laughs> Not as far as I know, it's just survive, it's not defend. Okay, so steal the ring for Kanas. Very big. Not as big as Chungus, but still pretty big. Alright, Marcus, Hanax is still flying. Rescue, go one back up. Out of range, right? Yeah, out of range. Out of range. Um, don't want to stay in the range of the Pegasus Knights, so he's gonna go... Probably, like, back here or something. It's probably fine for him. He might, like, have to choke a plank, kill a shaman. Oh, I could have blocked the shaman maybe by going there. Maybe that's the place. I just put Hector and stuff, like, here. So they blocked away. Yeah, we're all good here. Uh, we're not just... Yeah, we're gonna put a Hugh here. Um, Kanas... Back here, too, I think. Uh, Raven probably could have done with an Iron Axe. He probably didn't need this Iron Blade. I don't know why he has one. I don't know if I even have another Iron Axe, but I think I should have done that if I had one. Heal him so he doesn't die to a crit. Uh, I don't want to heal Marcus because then he doesn't counter this one Shaman down here. I'm going to put Priscilla in the reinforced spots and it should be it. Okay, so Osmond takes another 6. If I didn't heal, I think he would have died to a 1% crit, I guess. That's like the one reason not to do that. Osmond will heal himself. He he can heal more with a Vulnerate than he than takes damage every turn. Don't worry about him. Oh, there's two cats fighting outside my window. Maybe I should watch that instead of Fire Emblem. One of them is my favorite cat, though. He lives here and he's chill. Okay. So I guess this chapter is like an interesting demonstration of what can happen on the survive map if you don't clamp down and try to defend yourself, but instead you just, you know, go offensively whenever you can. Because imagine these Pegasus Knights were alive. They'd threaten, like, so many squares. I mean, I'd cheer him on, but he's already gone. Lagoose battle, yeah. Well, if it was a Lagoose battle, they'd already untransform right now, because they just fought, like, one person each. I don't own cats, but I know cats. I think this is a fun map. It's a stressful map. It's a, probably a well-designed one. It's a little bit dense, but in Hector normal mode, or in Hector hard mode, it's probably fine. Uh, with growth, it's just with, without growth, it gets like, kind of stressful, especially in Iron Man. Um, Oswin does not double Pegasus Knights. That's okay. I mean, Osmond could do with Lance rank, technically. We should probably have to fight as much as possible. I want him to be in range of these enemies, because then they die sooner. That makes sense. Uh, we can bait this bottom peg to Fighting Raven. I think he doubles them all with the Hand Axe. I mean, he's hand hella fast, so we'll figure. I think I'll just, like, heal him again. If they want to go for Raven, they can. If they want to go for Osmond instead, you know, I'm not going to stop him. 
but we, I think we just keep Ozma moving left while still facing enemies as much as possible. Um, maybe here's best that will give them the most squares to attack from. I think maybe next turn or turn after we get reinforcements from the bottom here, but I don't think it's this turn. If it's this turn, I mean, they come from like here. They're not in range, I think. Um, Marcus should probably go and help out. Let's go heal. Let's see, not in range. Let's heal Marcus, have him help out. Ten different terrain tiles for boats and not do anything. <laughs> Maybe like plank and uh, stairs. Mernus, yeah, Mernus. Oh, they might go for Mernus. That's okay. Like, oh, these guys can't even reach Mernus this turn, so they probably won't go for him. Let's have Marcus go here, because like, what else? What is? What are we gonna do here, right? I guess if the shaman comes out, we can handle him with Kanas or something. That's fine. Matthew's still chilling here. Uh, we can have him block the point now. Even Sane is here to help contribute. Which probably should do somewhere. Maybe not against the Pegasus Knights though. He doesn't double those, so let's put him here. Give him that double those instead. Come on, stay here. Hector can stay where he is. Oh shit, they are here. Please don't kill Raven. Oh, they're not even in range, okay. They, they came earlier than I remembered. That's fine, I think those mercs have slim swords. Yeah, the boss is Lunatome. Engage Marcus is like 8 res. I think he does 12, Marcus is like 30-ish HP. So with a crit, he dies. It's only... Well, I think, let's say the boss is like 12 skill. And that's like 20, 25 base crit. So it'd be like a... About a 20% chance Marcus just dies. And that's a lot of risk I can take in an Iron Man playthrough. Not a 0%. Yeah, so Raven is out of here. Oswin has the same problem. He faces crit, but he also doesn't one-out the boss, so it's not any safer. If you're playing with growths, then Oswin, at least in normal mode, I know he has a chance to survive because his uh, HP gets so good that he can survive in normal mode. Oh, nice miss. 92 hit. Very cool. That boat is programmed to show up in a turn earlier than you expect. Yeah, it measures your expectations and it shows up a turn earlier. You're right. Oh, so if I gave him an Iron Axe, he could have killed this, but then he would have been worse against the Mercenaries, so that probably wasn't worth it. I don't think I even gave him an Iron uh, Axe, but maybe I should have. But the, the weak thing about this whole thing is that Osman could choke it on one tile, so it doesn't really matter. I think we'll do it, because it will get him close to S rank. I think he actually is getting there right now. Um, yeah, just choke it with um, Marcus and friends. I think there's another wave next turn. Same place, same time. Sane, I think, is going backwards. I want to kill the peg, but I guess this is another peg I can feed to someone else, like Kanas. Like, what if I put Kanas here and just don't block the peg from reaching him? Then he gets another kill. And, uh, I mean, the, the, sooner, the sooner we get Kanas to level 10, the sooner he promotes, right? That's probably good. Maybe we could even put him closer. 13, 12. I mean, the Slimlands probably guy, guy probably crits him, so... I think Raven is out of here. I think Raven has done enough here. I think it's uh, it's gonna be a Marcus and Osman show from here. Uh, could kill this peg. I think it's good to kill that peg because he threatens Priscilla when she stands there. Although, yeah, I want to heal Raven this turn and get XP. So I think Marcus is killing that peg this night. I mean, if he hits, that is. What's up, Nick? Uh, the speed wing is normal mode. Uh, this, this, the items you get in this chapter are like very different between normal and hard mode. Uh, yeah, don't kill that peg, don't choke him either. Just have the mercs through set on Oswin. Leave the lane open for the Pegasus Knight to fly to Kanas and get another kill to him. I think this is one of the hardest things in Fire Emblem to do, appreciate anything, because... Let's see. I'm gonna heal Raven, so I'm gonna go here with Sane, I think. It's like trying to feed kills to people on enemy phase. It's one of the hardest things to do, I think. Go here, use the Iron Axe to dissuade the Pegasus from attacking you. And then we heal Raven. We can support Raven this turn. Damn, they've been building. Uh, do we do that instead then? That probably gives enough crit avoid to not get crit by anything. Might be worth, because Raven doesn't need healing this turn. And I'm sort of low in heals anyway. Maybe I should have bought some heals. Support. Watch out for Longsword. Uh, I don't think any of these have Longsword today. Sim Sword, Iron Sword, 
Steel sword. Nope, we're good. Uh, there's a long sword like here, but yeah. Okay, so that was a sarcastic. Watch out. Okay, good. Uh, let's chill here. Get more supports, I guess. Hopefully, Knoss gets this kill. He needs a couple more. But he can get a couple more, because we got choke points now. Choke point arenos. Okay, Oswin should reach S rank now. Maybe this battle, maybe this turn, but it'll be soon. Yep, got there. Now we can see general crits more often. Oh, burn this. Okay, fine. That's okay. I didn't count on that, but that's okay. That's okay. Rip longsword. It wanted to be awesome. Should have gotten better stats than no stats at all. I like the FE8 name better. It's like Zambato. Okay, but now we probably cannot get Kanas to promotion before next chapter. I think he needed to kill every turn for that. The Stim Sword is quite hilarious. It's quite a quip they got there. Yep, okay, more, more dudes coming in. Okay, this guy be definitely enemy phase here. Uh, maybe Raven down here. Just fighting both of them is the most efficient way to go about it. Or Kanas. But Kanas doesn't reach that spot. Um, let's see, we have 9, 10, and 12, 11. Defeat Kanas, 3 kills. There is a distinct possibility that he can get 3 kills. If we get him 1 enemy phase kill somehow. Maybe a Pegasus Knight somewhere. These have steel, right? Nope, they don't have. They have iron. How slow is iron? Peg again. 5 attack speed. Yeah, it's not doubling those. We could try to feed him. Let's see. This is Steel Lance Peg. Can you survive Steel Lance Peg and then a Shaman? Because then we can feed him. And he, I, don't really, I know he won't launch pegs at base. 17. Yeah, he won't launch this dude at base. 17 damage. Uh, takes 12. And then this guy is 12 base attack. 4. 4 and 12 is 16. He survives peg plus shaman and he gets some XP from it too. So we can give him a Pegasus Knight on enemy phase and then a shaman on player phase. We will have to read rescue drop there though. Uh, but that's doable. It does mean if nothing else shows up here, he's not going to get to 20 though, or to 10. But it feels fancy enough to try it. I don't think he faces crit either. It's 4 and 2 crit. He has like, yeah, he's 7 luck. He's good. Um, so, how do we rescue drop him here? Because he, he just needs one square. We gotta keep two people here. We can probably use Hector for that. Hector, Matthew, build supports. So, grab him with Sane. And move Sane. Uh, one tile below Priscilla. And then Priscilla. And we can grab him with Raven. Raven goes here. Knas goes here. Raven goes here. Grabs him. Sane take. Drops him down. Yeah, it has to be there. Raven rescues Knas. Sane take. Drop. Uh, let's see. Kanas is here. Kanas is here. Raven is here. Sane take drop down on the stairs. It doesn't have to be in the stairs. It, it can be one up. It can be. It should be one up from the stairs. It should be as far up as possible. So Kanas. Sorry, this is something I gotta math out. So Raven rescues from here. Sane take drops him down one on, one up from the stairs. <laughs> Square pegs. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> Sane needs to be able to drop, take drop him down on, on the square above the stairs. So Sane needs to go here, so Raven has to be here. So we heal Raven uh, from up to make space for Kanas. Like here. Rebecca died in the chapter 14, yeah? It's a while ago. Oh, I forgot to pin my FAQ message. Well, no one has asked about anything yet, so not too worried about that. Okay, so Sane needs to be here. Take drop. So Raven needs to be here. So Knas just goes below Sane. Raven goes here. That looks good to me. Take drop. And go back up. So you're not in range to Shaman. Knas will be fine. And he'll take, like, damage this turn. We can get Brazil has nothing to do anyway. And then these guys, we can kind of do whatever with him. Uh, I would like to get Osmond to the spot to fight this Pegasus Knight, though. Or, actually, I would prefer Marcus in that spot, because Marcus one rounds Pegasus Knights. So, Oswin, take your best shot. 
I can ask this face crit from these enemies. He's not Raven, he has 7 luck. Raven is like 1. There is a difference. And I would probably just use my Iron Lance and really care about wasting Javelin uses any Salmons. Marcus already has S ranks, he doesn't need more. I could even use a Hand Axe here. Ah, whatever, just use the Iron. Or we can. No, we can't overcoat over up Shaman, so we go with the Iron Lance. Yeah, I can't wait for Dragon's Gate Eater, man. But already, we've been going for an hour for this map alone, because this is a map where you've got to be so careful. Uh, don't forget to block this square with Hector. Matthew's fine where he is. Alright, Pegasus Knight. Mernus, stand strong, buddy. You got this. Yeah, that's true, but we're not getting attacked by a snowstorm this turn. Damn, Annoying Kid does a good imitation of an Annoying Kid. Well done. Well done. Yo, Marcus, calm down. You don't actually have to kill these dudes. Battle Before Dawn. Yeah, that's a quick game over for sure. <laughs> I mean, by that time, we have so many pre promotes that the combat itself will not be a problem. It's just, please don't die, Zephiel. That's the problem. Uh, if Ninian dies, we're going to be in big trouble for that map. Mernus probably has a chance to dodge. Uh, he has 0% growth, so his avoid is not as good as you might be used to. But at this point, like, it's not worth risking everyone's neck to go back to save Mernus, is it? I mean, it's a dumb question to ask. Of course it is. We did it in, in, in 17x. We should do it here. Yeah, Marcus is trying to get his lances to even use his man. Bum, bum. Okay, three Pegasus Knights, but most of them will probably just suicide. Okay, this guy is getting close to death. Does Knoss double shamans on this mode? I don't remember. Either way, enjoy your pew! Wow. Again? Again, let's go. Well, it's mostly the Pegasus Knights that are a joke. But it's okay, because they're still, like, really annoying. Do we get more reinforcements this turn? That's the question. Needing chapter, chapter 30. What What even... 30 is a Berserker. Oh, uh, I see what you did there. 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 Very smart. Okay, no reinforcements that Kanas can reach. So Kanas is not reaching 20. Sad. But he's getting there, you know. He's, he's working on it. We can, we can get him and kill him in turn 11, I guess. And promote him mid-chapter next chapter, maybe? Yes. I'm worried about next chapter, though. I haven't prepped for that. Um, let's see. No steel lances here that Kanas can take care of. Maybe leave this to Osman, get Marcus healed. What's Kanas doing? Kanas doesn't even die from an attack right there, right here. So it's probably prudent to. Uh, I want to get him another kill next turn, safely, preferably. Maybe just move Osman and Marcus back a little bit on the planks to get him close to Kanas instead of having Kanas come to him. Uh, we do want to be in range of this guy, so just put like Osman here, I guess, and then Marcus like further back. Can Asko get another P? Wow! Kill boss for easy promotion. I mean, the shaman versus shaman duel. You gotta love it, right? You gotta love it. Everyone who's suggesting to do that is doing so sarcastically. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I mean, technically Marcus is the one who's under more fire this turn, but I guess we can heal Kanas if we really want to. Uh, rather, rescue drop Kanas first, maybe? Like, get him a little closer. To the action. Maybe we could have done it that way, that... In such a way that Priscilla builds your support with Raven, but whatever. There you go, Kanas. Get back to full. No, this doesn't give heal XP. I don't think it gives staff XP the last use. That's the kind of uh, it's kind of a dumb bug in FE7. I would like to keep this three use vulnerary intact. It sounds stupid, but I don't. I mean, I have a lot of this turn, but I'm literally only facing the shaman this turn, so I'm just gonna javelin it up. Actually, hand axe it up for the Pegasus Knights. That should be fine. Oh, he's not even range the Pegasus Knights. That was a foolish move. What a foolish mistake! I should reset this entire chapter. Is anything worth stealing here, with Matthew? Didn't think so. I know there's something with the Vulm somewhere. So, there always is. Shaman kill Oswin? Nah, Oswin is like really high HP. <laughs> he's full health. I think he's fine. Oswin's res is not actually bad, it's 6. Um, it's actually almost as good as Marcus's, Kanas's. It's the same as Priscilla's when you think about it. Oswin and Priscilla have the same res. 
Uh, Ozma hits a bit harder though on the counter attack. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not killing the boss for a bit of the loves. Also, he has. Like, just to check it out, right? The boss is 26 crit, and Marcus has 10 luck and no supports. So, 60% chance to just lose Marcus. That's not a winning deal for me. But hey, that's just me. Bye, Mernus. I forgot to check if he had a chance to dodge, but. Uh, I mean, we know now, right? We know now. Alright, we conquered the boss's ship. How about that? Okay. Let's go, Oswin. Set up a kill for Kanas, will you? No, this is like the last item I'm stealing with Matthew, probably. I don't know what I'm doing about Kaga Sagas. I get asked this a lot. Uh, I don't blame you for asking. But uh, the schedule is full. I hear you're kind of brain intensive. Oh, good job, Marcus. Good kill. Okay, so we can get one last kill with Kanas on this guy. Maybe this guy will go for him as well. It's a 14 attack. He doesn't kill Matthew, so... It'd be acceptable to leave him alive. Uh, do you double Kanas? Nope. I think this one, definitely the right play. The question is, what do we leave exposed? We definitely do want to heal Marcus. We can kill this peg. And then kill this other peg with Oswin. Maybe you can kill with the Iron Axe. Did it give him one apparently? 24 attack with weapon triangle. It's not enough to kill in one round. Sets it up though. But I have to. I, I, yeah, I guess I can move him out of range. Yeah, I can move people out of range. I don't. I don't got to block reinforcements anymore. Then we can set this one up to where you can only attack Kanas. I think. I think that can work. And it's just like one more kill for Kanas next chapter, and he's just ready to promote. The only thing is, I don't think I have heal stabs left in Mernus. I can't check right now, but I think I'm out of heal. So Kanas won't be able to heal, which is very sad. Maybe I should have mended it with Priscilla and preserved my heal a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the pegs are going to die. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill the pegs and move Priscilla out of range afterwards. Like, I could just, like, heal Marcus and then rescue Priscilla with Sane. I think that's what I do. There's a shop there, yeah, but... Uh, I got more, I got two choke point holders. That's about it. What's up, Freako Laka? Always there with the wholesome messages. Okay, so this is a kill for Kanas. And I think I hit the Pegasus Knight with Oswin and try to bait that guy into attacking Kanas afterwards. Oh yeah, I can move forward with, with Marcus, sure. But that, what does that accomplish? What does that do? I, I, he doesn't reach his shops. Move forward with Marcus, hang next to Pegasus. I don't want to kill him though. I don't want to kill him. I want to leave him to Kanas. To, to chat is giving some interesting suggestions here. And I don't mean this one. One square. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Just move him one. I mean, just hang next to Pegasus. I know, but that kills him. Why would I do that? I don't want to kill him. I want to, I want to feed him to Kanas. I mean, do I... You cannot tank too? Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, actually it does. It kind of does. But... How do I get a kill then? Let's see, can I actually not tank too? Because this guy has a slim lance, and he's not doubling. I guess a crit kill him. 2% crit. Hmm... Because... Iron does 14 minus 5 is 9. So he can actually tank two Iron Lance ones. It doesn't matter, because this one is slim. With 11. Uh, which means he does 6. So I guess if Kanas gets crit, then he dies to the Pegasus Knight, yes. Uh, but here's the cool fact. <laughs> Priscilla will get hit. Well, the thing is, if I leave Priscilla here, then she dies. Like, for sure. She has worse defenses. Uh, but I'm trying to see if... Can I rescue Priscilla out of range and then leave Kanas as the, like, the most vulnerable person in range? I could jab him, yeah, but it's the same thing. Like, I was already planning to Iron Axe him. Oh, I guess I can't move him forward. Well, I guess I can. Uh, if I just move Marcus as well. But that's the same thing. It's the same thing. Like, I might as well Iron Axe to get Axe rank, right? Getting, getting close to zero. I don't think it really matters which weapon I use here. Uh, but I do need to get Priscilla out of range. of the Pegasus Knight first. I'll just, I'll just jab this guy and equip an Iron Lance or something. Even hand axe him, just like that. 
I should have kills him, right? No, wait, it doesn't it doesn't kill? No. Yeah, we just we just rescue. Um, yeah, we'll just take a small risk with Kanas here. Um, so get the hand axe from him. The iron iron axe on you. Long sword on you. Then hand axe the Pegasus Knight. Go for a less accurate option. Yeah, hero raven. It was uh, it was quite the surprise for, for me too. And then uh, we just need to get Priscilla out of range, so that'll be easy enough. Just rescue. Go back here. That should be far enough. Uh, Matthew needs to be out of range too. So take, drop, and then Matthew moves away as well. He might go for Raven, but he's not low on health, so it's fine. Yeah, that should be fine. And now the only way Kanaz dies is if he gets like two percent crit by the Slim Lance, dude. And that's the only way. It's not worth the risk, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, let's equip an axe on Raven. And is there anything else that can mitigate risks? I don't think there is. I guess I can just give uh, Cosmo his lance back. There you go. Get the sword out. Um, I guess he might go for Hector. Uh, that's not that to happen, I guess. I think he'll go for Kanasa for Hector, though. Shaman can reach the Kanasa too, theoretically. And then he'd have to, like, yeah, that has this very, very low chance of happening. Because <laughs> then, like, these guys have to, like, crit everything. That's the only way that the Shaman can reach Kanas. Like, this, uh, like as a general rule of thumb, uh, in FE7 and no GBA FE, one range enemies will move before two range enemies. So the Pegasus Knights will move first, and the Mercenaries will move first, and only then the Shamans will move. Uh, I don't think he lives a Shaman as well. Actually, to do four, so maybe he will, but at this point, we can't be helped anyway. Let's just end turn and see. I think if he gets crit by the Slim Lance Shaman, that's when he dies. But now he's safe. Now he's safe, because he dodged. Yeah, we saw before that the Shaman did it for the Kanas. Maybe this one is higher level, maybe this one is Nosferatu. I don't think so, though. But the only way he gets attacked by the Shaman is if all the Mercenaries and Myrmidons attack Oswin and die. Uh, like, there needs to be a square free for him, right? So, like, if Osmond doesn't crit this guy, he's already safe. And uh, at this point, I think a crit from the Slim Lance guy doesn't even kill him. Uh, can, like, Kanas is also not killing that guy, that, that Slim Lance dude. Well, Dark Knight mod, the thing about Raven is I actually had to kill like almost every single enemy that was like free for him. Oh, he doesn't even face crit from this. What? Oh, the Tactician Stars, right. The Tactician Stars saved him. Normally, this guy is supposed to have two crit on, on uh, Kanas by looking at their stats, but Tactician Stars grants a bit of crit avoid to everyone. I think one crit avoid for every Tactician Star you have. But yeah, now we win. Cool. What I was saying is, in order to get level 10 Raven for the next chapter, or for this chapter, I had to actually feed like almost the entire map besides the level 17 pirates to him. It was not easy. Change the chapter number to 19. Okay, pirate ship went really well. It was much faster than last time. Uh, thanks to Sane dodging a couple hits. He could have died. He could definitely have died. Okay, we don't have a heal left, right? I think we're just out of heals. Oh, we actually have a... Okay, that's good. Let's get this one to him. And then the guiding ring before we forget. It's the easiest thing to forget. Get that shit away. Okay, but this is the map where I have to fight Uhai over here. And I did the math last time. Marcus and Oswin always face a chance to die to the killing edge. Always. There's no way to avoid it. I guess the one way to avoid it might be bait the longbow with someone else. And then fight them over and over with them. Maybe that's an option. Maybe that's something I can do. Bait the longbow with Marcus and then fight him with Oswin. But I think Uhai is going to be a big pain. I can't really help it. Kanas gets one ship in somewhere, then he's home free to promote, and then he can heal our dudes while still being offensively inclined, so that's helpful. Uh, we don't have Rebecca. <laughs> You're probably not feeling we need to feel for enough for recruitment say, purposes. Uh, Lynn could be helpful, but she could also just game over, so I think I'm just not feeling Lynn here. Uh, Elliot might be nice for Hector though, and who's not terrible in this map. I think the nomads double him. Let's see. He did 9 speed, I don't double him. I think it might be worth to have Oswin, or I have Hector and, and Elwood here. Uh, Raven gonna be very helpful fighting pirates. Actually, this dude. 
Like killing him turn one and then having this guy as well. Raven is fast as hell. Can Raven Raven doubles this guy as well? Let's get Raven a new hand axe. Um let's see, where is the hand axe departments? I did buy a couple like like right, yeah, yeah. Did I didn't I buy Vaughn's as well? I think I did. Uh lockpick to the convoy, get a new Vaughn on you. Silver Lance, it's a bit lower in uses. I'm gonna bring the Horse Slayer, I guess. Don't need the Silver Axe, I think. The Horse Slayer. I don't like the Horse Slayer. I should probably give it to Oswin instead of Marcus. Because uh, Oswin doesn't get weighed down by the Horse Slayer. Oswin probably wants a Falm rather than a Hand Axe. Or does he need an Iron Axe either? He probably just wants a Javelin. Maybe an Axe is actually welcome for him. There's some Pirates here. Where do we go? How do we go about this? You're good with what you got. Gorn doesn't need weapons, probably. I think it's better to have her not weaponized. Edward definitely needs a Vulnery. Edward is like... I mean, I could bring Guy instead. He does have... 6 more HP and a lot more speed for doubling purposes. Uh, Edward mostly just makes Hector harder to kill. Uh, he has a B support with him, so they give each other 10 to Void and 2 defense. So effectively, Edward has 7 defense to Gi's 5. I could bring Sarah, but I don't have any spare heals. I only have Mend. I should deposit these. I have the Torch. I have a Sleep Staff. I guess I can use it. Bring a Vaughn as well. Probably best. I could probably bring Matthew with a Torch. Just a Torch. Like maybe an Iron Sword could be useful. I don't know. I don't know about the calf killing. I think it's just gonna. Um, I think what's gonna happen is Osmond and Marcus are gonna like run down the south portion of the map, either choke point it or just like walk through there, kind of like the way you do in draft races. We can go through here. I think I actually just rather put um, like maybe even like it sounds silly, but Hector and Elliot on this on these two forts uh, would be really bulky, or even Kanas on that fort. Like Kanas hits like one guy, promotes sits on that fort. And he probably have like pretty good bulk there. It's a bit scary for him, I will admit. Also hard to get the turn one chip with him. I get another slot. I guess I can bring Gi or Lucius or Sarah. Uh, the thing about Sarah is I don't have another heal staff. I think I think I have nothing. I got a mend actually. Never mind. I got a mend. I bought a mend. Cool. Probably use that. That might be more useful than whatever I was gonna bring. Uh, could ask could chip this top X bro. Um, he might double him, 5, 3. Uh, yeah, he doubles the Axe Bro, actually. He can kill him. We can do that and then move Raven further in to fight this Nomad. And I think there's a Pegasus Knight here as well he can fight, so that might be useful. That kind of takes care of that flank. I guess we can have Sane on the bottom part along with Lowen. Um, Sane, Lowen. Don't hate that. They can reach a turn 1. And then Osmond and Marcus can go through the middle. I know this part can get really clogged, but I have faith in them that they can punch through in time. I think I'm gonna bring an extra Vuln on Marcus, just because of, like how badly clogged it can get. There's nothing else to like no one else wants that Vuln anyway, I think. Uh, Raven is low on Vault, so I'm gonna give him like this Vuln then. One more Vuln should do it on Marcus, I think. No Vuln's on Matthew, but that should be fine. Matthew's too gonna be replaced by Legault anyway. I, I would like to get Geats, yeah, but uh, I think it's happening. Okay, I'm gonna think about the preps for a little bit. I'm gonna uh, take a really quick restroom break, stretch my legs. You should do the same. Think of just anything I missed. I don't need to win in 15 stars. In 15, <laughs> 15 stars, 15 turns. Let me check those technician stars real quick. Let's check our ranking. Damn. Oswin hates my tactics, bro. Look at these ranks. My combat is perfect. Thanks, Marcus. There you go. I got two stars. I'm Don Don't. I got two stars. Don Don't. Yeah, my rankings. Not great. Not great. Uh, I'll be right back for like maybe a minute, maybe two minutes. Not much more than that.
Okay, a couple more things, a couple more things that I gotta do that I realized would be good ideas, right? Uh, first of all, we get darts, so we probably want to give him an Iron Axe. Uh, we got one over here. He comes with the Hand Axe, he won't eat that. Could give him the Devil Axe for suicide options, I don't think it's an option. He has B rank access, so no Silver Axe, so no point in bringing that over. And uh, let's see, Sane's inventory is probably fine. We could give him the Long Sword for better anti horse chip, I guess. I have a doubt about him needing a hand axe, so we'll give him the longsword instead. Um, I'm thinking it might not be great after all. Uh, Lowen also wants a Vaughn if he's coming. Because he's got to tank that place, right? Probably wants like more than just an Iron Axe if he's tanking the place, so give him that. And I guess the Vaughn that Priscilla has. Surprisingly low on Vaughn's. Well, I guess we're taking Priscilla's. We do have like three healers, so this should be okay. They could probably heal each other. So Raven t kills this one. One, two, three, four, five. I think he might be in range of like one Pegasus Knight from up here, but that's fine. And Raven go out here, choke this point from the Nomad, kill him on turn two. Uh, Oswin, one, two, three, four, five. Kills the Snag. Marcus can go down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, something. Maybe Marcus should have a torch, so he can see Uhai further. But if I have to vulnerate a torch, I think. Uh, Dart is coming with a torch. Uh, Kanaz can kill Axe Bro, yeah. Kanaz has um, 7 speed. 7th uh, attack speed, excuse me. And this guy's weighed down by 5, so he's 3. So Kanaz does double that guy, and he has 17 attack, so he's killing. Oh yeah, he's a torch too, I know, I know, but um, we're not getting that with Marcus, are we? Uh, I guess we're missing out on the Thief the, with the torch staff, I guess, maybe that's fine. Not too worried about that. Yeah, no, I, I got a torch, I got a torch on Matthew, don't worry about it. I'm only bringing Matthew for vision, only for that. Uh, make a save for pitfalls, or footage, or anything like that. Fire Emblem, FE7. The hard mode, 0% gross playthrough, <laughs> chapter 19, there you go. Kill Uhai. Well, we only have two solutions and they're both luck based. They're called Oswin and Marcus. It's the only way. Kanas has a 6 use heal. Yeah, he's fine. Elliwood has this. I'm contemplating bringing Gi over Elliwood after all. Uh, there's a pirate coming from here. But I don't think it's necessary. I think Matthew and Elliwood have it covered. I think Hector can help with a bit. Lowen can use an iron sword to kill pirates. I think we don't have to worry too much about the pirates from here. We're worried about the Pegasus Knights. We're worried about Oswin and Marcus getting through here, I think. Let us play. Let us play. Normal playthrough. It's an Iron Man playthrough, but 0% growth. Uh, the Polar Marinus, sure. Yeah, Oswin can get there in time for the guy, don't worry. Alright, so first I think we just like want to see what's going on over here, like this whole place. I think there's a Pegasus that come from here. I want to just scout that one out with Dart. Last time I did, did like very elaborate preps here. Alright, let's lit it up. Let's get Liddy. Yeah, so now I can see what's going on here, and that makes it much better. Uh, there's one Cav here. Uh, not to worry about him. We can like fight him, but we don't need to though. Just stand here menacingly and chip down. There's a steel bow, this guy's whatever. I just hold the force and the next turn we can like replace the characters on there. I think the pirate reinforcement is next turn. Uh, but yeah, there's a peg here that can attack Kanas if we don't kill him. But it's either like the peg or the nomad gets to attack him. But this is another steel lance peg. So he will die to Kanas, assuming we have the technology, which we do. 15 attack, right? Kanas, yeah. So we kill the Pyro Bro. We don't have to kill the Pyro Bro this turn, we can also bait the Pegasus Knight instead. And fight him. And the advantage of that is that Raven is further back. Not a range of shit. I like the idea of just killing the Pyro Bro. Oh, we don't kill him one round though. I guess Kanas is better off than doing it then, because then Raven does take extra damage. And then blocked away. Fight the Pegasus Knight. Yeah, that's probably fine. Kill him. Dart cannot kill a Nomad in one round, for sure. He is a bit uh, slow at base. He's like 8 speed. Nomads have 9. They're weighed down by 2 by the Steel Bow, but it's still not enough for Dart to double. Alright, Kanas is ready. Here you go. Yeah, Myrna's revives every chapter. He's not Marcus. <laughs> He's not Marcus. <laughs> He doesn't permanently die. Okay, so we put Raven here to protect him from the Nomad and to counter the... Um, well, the Nomad. Go here. 
It's probably within range of this auto nomad, but I think he can take the hits. It's 13 attack, it's whatever. And uh, the nomads will move after the Pegasus Knight, and the Pegasus Knight will go for Kanas. Should be no um, other dudes here. So next turn, Kanas is ready to promote. She'll probably get ready to heal with Sarah. So she shouldn't trace straight too far. Uh, we're going to block this, and we're going through the center with Marcus. Let's see, there's a longbow here. Can we reach that turn one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Um, yeah, Marcus is going to get cock blocked if we don't do anything about it. Uh, we probably aren't in position anymore to do anything about it. Just going to jab the snag. I don't remember exactly what goes on here. Just know it's kind of annoying. Oh, we can reach. Uh, you can kill the longbow guy. That'd be nice because he gets in the way a lot. Uh, this does put in range of a pirate. Uh, we don't have a hand axe on us. But you can take one pirate and a couple of dudes here, right? Steel sword. Let me math that out, because it's a little scary. Uh, although I can bait another dude away. Like, this longbow guy is dying and he only does one damage. So the, the main concern is steel lance dude over here with a 17 attack. That's five damage. He's fine. He's fine. For this turn, at least, he's very fine. And the next turn, we can heal him, maybe. So kill the longbow guy, so he doesn't get in our way. Uh, Frico, your message got censored by YouTube because it doesn't like you saying ass, but, um... I did a Conquest Lunatic Iron Man, and uh, it's stranded very early because it was semi-blind. I'm not trying to just keep a torch and stick to my guns and say no. kind of wish I gave Marcus like some kind of axe. Maybe we should trade next turn with Oswin. Um, this dude... Ah, I put him in the wrong spot. That's okay though, I can use Flora now. I want this peg to die to darts. Uh, he's an Iron Lance, so he's way down to... Can he die? Way down to 7. So dart cannot double. 23. Yeah, I guess Dart just cannot kill that guy. Because even with 24 attack that he has with Open Try, he's not killing. So I guess it doesn't matter, but I'd rather have the Iron Axe for extra chance to dodge damage, I guess. That's fine. Just give him the thing. Uh, I think that means we go behind, yeah. So, Iron Axe. Because I think if I don't bait this peg right now with uh, Dart, then he just flies up and does nothing, which is worse. I'll use this torch as well, so Dart has extra vision to work with. Yeah, I was hoping to kill this guy, but I guess it's not happening. Okay, that's Sane has to go on this fort. I'm just gonna wait and not attack, I think. Although, if I attack, he dies over the next couple turns. I don't know, it's like such a non threatening enemy. I almost don't even want to attack and take damage. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just let him, yeah, whatever. Just wait. Just to choke the point. And also, this stops Uhai healing AI if it comes up later, but that's gonna depend on like, whether these guys are still alive by the time that happens. And I think these two should be in position to take over the forts if needed. But they probably won't be needed. In that case, they can go up and fight the pirates reinforcement that comes from here. Uh, Priscilla has a sleep staff for whatever reason. Uh, should probably be near a raven, but you know, kind of dropped the gun on that one. Dropped the ball on that one. Dropped the something on that one. Let's just wait here. Uh, you need to be in range of the rain, can ask, so this should be a fine position for you. Okay. I don't think there's any way we die on this turn. Okay, Marcus is going to get blocked for sure. Four turn. Yeah, Kanas takes this hit. Take him out. Yeah, yeah, no worry. He has, he has an Iron Axe. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, the thing is, I'm just not in a hurry to kill that Cav. And he might take the place of someone who's stronger. There might be like a, la a Lance somewhere. Yeah, YouTube is pretty censor heavy. It doesn't really like any naughty words, I guess is a way to put it. By the way, I don't really care at this point if Lowen dies. I'd better prefer, I prefer if he's alive, but if he dies, he dies, you know? Okay, I think Marcus doubles this guy. I think I saw him doubling. That's good. Uh, Kanas can use Nosferatu. There is a Nosferatu tome, but it's ways, it weighs like 14. So he gets weighed down so much, it's like... Either he, like, doesn't double with it, or he just gets doubled with it. Stuff like that. It's very, very, very annoying. It doesn't really make him tankier because it's so heavy. This guy's dying too. This is good because these are enemies that normally would have gone towards the left where Sane and Lowen are. I do know there will be Pegasus Knight that come in from the bottom that will threaten Myrnus and then maybe Lowen as well. Uh, maybe Fiora will take care of those when she arrives. Let's go Dart. Okay, so this is another easy kill for anyone. Could probably do it with Hector. This is what we wanted with Raven. Fight this Pegasus Knight. Yeah, you just have to be more creative with your curse works, that's right. Mm 
Mm, two Pegasus Knights. Yeah, these guys usually like fly up to me without fighting turn one. And then they threaten like a huge portion of that. This is like last map where the Pegasus Knights, they're not super threatening in combat, but healers really hate them. Okay, there's the two Pegasus Knights I just talked about. Uh, I think if Loan gets hit by like everything next turn, then he will die. I know I use this phrase a lot. Okay, if it wasn't for these Steel Sword calves, I would have liked to have a Hand Axe now, but uh, that was not how it went. Maybe... Oh, they're not even in the way, actually. I can just move move Harkus. <laughs> move Harkus. Move Marcus a bit down and heal him with a foam. Free up an inventory slot. Maybe even, like, be able to get the Torch Staff. Okay, Raven doubles this guy, I believe. It's not a one gone. Oh, never mind. Not gone. Nope, never, never mind. Nope, he's staying alive. Stay alive. Maybe this guy will die. I mean, I can just heal Raven with Kanas after he promotes. Although that's not this turn, I guess. Because he's going to need the turn to promote. Yeah, Loan uh, needs some uh, relief real quick. He's not going to be uh, very good here. Thing is, I don't think Hector's much bulkier, so... I don't know who's going to take over for him. Maybe Dart is better. In that spot. Get out of here. Mark is doubling Nomads like nobody's business. Very cool. Oh, there's the thief. We're ahead of him now. Okay, yeah, that's... I know where the pirate is. You're not hiding from me. I know where you are. Uh, he's here. Uh, the question is that how much move does he have, though? I can move Matthew to find out, but I want to move him after I'm done with the vision here. So, I don't think this Pegasus Knight's this turn around here. I think they come next turn. Uh, I think we promote Kanas first, because then we can heal him after. And give more HP on him. So we just stay here and promote. Waifu promotion. Waifu promotion. More noise to fight pegs or nomads. Uh, I mean, positioning wise, the pegs are more annoying, but obviously, the nomads are more threatening and harder to kill. Waifu boys, let's go. Easy magic, there we go. Plus four attack speed, let's go. Um, mend them up. I think we just fall with Kana with Raven over here. Keep the formation. Yeah, it's plus 4 attack speed, not plus 4 magic, but, uh, you know, it's fine. He does have, like, 10 magic, which is kind of low, but, uh, the speed is really nice. We don't even have to fall, we can just kill one of these guys. To stop him from taking more damage. If we... we want to use the high-use hand axes, we use the 2-use one, then we break it on enemy phase, on this one, which is not good, so... And I think even if he misses, he's fine here, as long as nothing else is alive. Goodbye. If I had known that, I would have used my 1-use hand axe here. Okay, and there shouldn't be any pegs. Matthew probably doesn't kill this guy in one round. Who does? <laughs> That's an interesting maneuver, but I want to move him left. Maybe even, like, fight the pirate with Matthew. Let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, Oswin... I mean, this pirate cannot really escape the island this turn and do anything substantial. This monk just stands still, as far as I know. Could kill this guy. I think maybe better if Oswin goes left instead and chokes a point here, because Sloan is not lasting a very long time over here, like right, right now. Especially with the two pegs that I know are here. Although they will go for Mernus, probably. But like Hector's 19 and 8 defense. It's not really much better than what Loan's got. And it was definitely bad in this spot. We don't want him here. Although they technically have supports and stuff. Hector's a weapon triangle in some of these cases as well. But I think uh, Hector doesn't get double either. But it's my game over conditions. I can't just have them here. I don't want to kill with Matt because he takes a bunch of counter damage. There might be another peg here. I don't think so though. Let's see. I think I prefer Elo if Edward can fight the pirate instead of anyone else, that'd be preferable. But the question is then, how do we deal with this this place right here? I guess Oswin doesn't need to have the fort. He can just go here. So we can have like Loa move away, uh, maybe fight the pirate with an iron sword, have same move to the left fort and just fight the iron sword guy or whatever. And then Oswin can be here and took the points. And we have Dart on here, on token duty here. I guess in that case it might be best to have Hector kill the Pegasus Knights. Oswin doesn't need a fort, he is a fort. It'd be nice to have the fort though, but I see where you're coming from. I think that's roughly what I prefer to have happen here. Uh, this Steel Axe Pirate has like four, four, four attack speed, which is enough to get doubled by darts, so he dies. Uh, this guy 
probably doesn't hit Dart, and if, if he does, it's not gonna kill him, I think. Also, if we just kill this dude... Oh, no, no, we're not doing that. I guess ideally we just, like, hit this guy with Matthew, and we just don't have to worry about that guy at all. Because then Hector can... help Edward here. And we just don't have to move Matthew, but... Eh. I don't know, all these guys kind of suck at fighting pirates, kind of. I know I don't think I don't think we can reach the forest, does he? I think I guess we just check after we move. I guess we just check after if if this hits, if Hector hits this guy, we can check that by moving Matthew back. Just hit this guy, Hector. Just do it. Okay, now we can move Matthew left, and we got some Geats XP on Hector. Very important. Level 9 Hector. You hit it here first. First timer in history. Okay, so let's move Matthew a bit to the left. Uh, all the other. Oh, we probably need this vision over here for this part. I guess uh, Marcus is moving down here. And we use the Vulnerary first, because if we bump into something in the fog, then we just at least have used the Vulnerary. Oh, he's low on Javelins. He's hella low on Javelins. What the hell? It's probably not good. Actually, we don't want Marcus on his own against Uhai. We want Osman with him. Hmm. Yeah, Osman kind of has to come along for this ride, because Marcus alone is not going to go well, I can tell you that much. Like, if Marcus dies, uh, we really need Osman to be there to make it to the guiding and everything. So, forts with these two anyway. I mean, Loan is not dying right away, right? Probably not. Not with Myrnus baiting the Pegasus Knight away. Okay, I think we'll just have to accept that Edward is fighting the pirates. Yeah, I think I think we have to come along here. Come along. We can kill this guy. Get him out of here. That makes Dark pretty much safe, I think. Get the Geats points, and then this also gives us an opportunity to trade javelins between them. Like do this. And it's probably fine. Maybe even hand axe on Oswin, because he's gonna stay here. Javelin Marcus is fine. And heal Marcus with this fawn. The fool. You never know when he gets a chance next time. I just moved on all the way, I think. Um, nomads might attack him. They, they always have a force to go from, so might as well just go here. Yeah, hello, dudes. It's, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? Probably good that Osmond chokes this point anyway. And then just have. Now we can move Matthew left, I think. Just a little bit left. Uh, there's like one pirate here. Um, nothing else can really reach Dart, so I'm okay with him just going here. Don't want to be in range of the Monk, I don't care about the Monk. I don't even care about this Lightning. I'm just gonna go on a Snag. Snag. And Dart should, like, two-shot him as well. 20 attack. Yeah, easy two-shot. So just choke here. Leave the options open. And now I think we move Matthew to the, to the left. We can even heal Darts this turn with uh, Priscilla. I think it's a good idea. Let's move Matthew first, see where the pirate is. Okay, he's here. So if we want to counter him this turn, we have to use Edward here. Uh, he has like 87 hits. And then it was 21 avoid. 36 avoid with a triangle. 87 minus 36 is 51, so like 50 50 shots. I think between Edward and, and, and Matthew, we can probably kill that guy on the next turn. So I think this is fine. And then let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't reach Edward next turn with Priscilla if we heal Dark this turn, and I think that's more urgent. Okay, here's the Pegasus Knight. So one of them can go from Matthew. He probably won't though because Myrnus is in range, and he's the only one. I'm actually okay with that. I'm okay with he attacks Matthew, but glad he attacks Myrnus. I could take the Force, but then the Pirate doesn't reach me, and I want to kill the Pirate over the next turn. Like I know Force is obvious. But I didn't want to go for it. But the question is, do I heal Dark this turn for a little bit, or just stay in range of Elwood? I think I'm staying in range of Elwood. I'm gonna keep these forts and just farm with Lowen. Force northeast. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, that could have been the one. You're right. Did Elwood even reach that? I'm not sure. Whatever. The one's going much better than your other after Armas with growth. Oh, the ones where I kill Matthew. Yeah, that was uh, that was a disaster for sure. Disaster. Yeah, they're going for a Myrnus, that's whatever. Uh, gotta make sure that... I could bait one Pegasus Knight with Florina, even. I don't think there's any spot that is in range of playing one Pegasus Knight, and they have Steel Lance, so they'll two-shot her. 
Uh, maybe Fiora will fly in and do something stupid, though. Let's see, this peg cannot reach this spot. I think I'm gonna put F Florina next to Matthew, because this is roughly where Fiora spawns. So it'll probably cover all our possibilities. Yeah, no Murna's level up, unfortunate. But it is what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. I'm keeping Priscilla here because she can heal Elliot there. Keep Sane and Lowen here. Hopefully they will survive. I don't remember what the Pegasus Knights move before the Cavaliers. If they don't, the Pegasus Knights might gang up on Lowen and kill him. Hopefully they won't. I have a good record with dodging with Cavs. I could equip Sane with the Iron Axe, but they're not going to go for him anyway. So I think it's fine to leave it like this. I'll... I mean, last time I didn't have any trouble getting the Gaiden. The hard part was like, Oswin and Marcus surviving, because I did the math and they... They do not survive Uhai at full health. There's no, like, if, it, if he crits, he, they're dead. They're dead. That's just how it is. I think we just end turn here. I think we're, we're done. We're cooked. Okay, so this pirates, 51 hit. Yep, that's what I thought. Elliwood dodges, though. I don't even think that another hit from Elliwood and two hits from Matthew's gonna kill this guy, but you never know. Level 10. Which turn? Uh, like, th three, four, something like it. Nice dodges, guys. Keep that up. I will promote Dart if I get the chance, and if I have enough money to not have to sell the Ocean Seal. Okay, the Javelin here is not great. But again, these guys will not go for low on Insane, so that's good news for them. Marcus is probably going to need to Vuln again next turn. Again, kind of a shame that he doesn't have any other weapons, but oh well. Like, an Axe would have been kind of okay here. But then he might not double this guy, so... I think they have Healing AI, but they probably won't go for Healing AI because we're occupying the forts. Hey, look! Look! <laughs> it's a normal Edward level, just missing one luck. Haha, <laughs> got him. Someone said that last time, maybe it was you. Jason, I see you. Okay, low one got hit. Uh, he should be on lower HP than Mernus now, but he does still counterattack, so maybe they'll still go for Mernus. Mernus is very fragile. This guy will probably not. Yeah, there you go. I mean, normal Roy level. Like son, like father. Come on, Lowen. Alright, good, 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 that's fine. That puts the Pegasus Knight in my range. Especially if no other dudes come from like where Dart and Oswin are. That puts us in a good spot to just take care of the Pegasus Knights. I also think that Fiora shows up this turn and will probably hit one of the Pegasus Knights. I don't repeat that. My awful jokes is other people's. Oh, we got D rank access on, on Raven. Very good. Very good. Get a Marcus. He doesn't double Iron Bow dudes, unfortunately. Yeah, Rip Murderness. Unfortunate. But at least Lowen is fine, right? Oh my god, they killed Mernus, you bastards. I wonder if we can kill the Iron Lance Cav this turn, because he does the most damage out of the enemies we can reach reasonably. Okay, Marcus has no path. Uh, okay, that's good. That's Fiora. Thank you, Fiora. Very cool. Uh, if she can do that, she can probably kill the other one, too. And that's in range of Florina, so that's good. Uh, the question is, what do we do with the pirates? Because this is not going to work, I think. Yeah, 5 damage, that's not going to work. Uh, Kanas works, though. I mean, Raven is fine. We can heal him with Sarah. I think this Pegasus Knight's this turn, though. Maybe Raven just falls. Yeah, Raven falls. Kanas moves here, kill this pirate, because he's annoying. Oh, we can just finish him with Hollywood. Uh, Fiora going to kill this um, Pegasus Knight. Or Dart. Maybe Dart can help with the hand axe chip here and I just take over. Let's see. One of these can probably kill this thief. I don't hate getting the torch staff. It's pretty useful. Um, and I can trade for the hand axe, put it on Marcus so he doesn't take as much damage from these goons. Especially this steel axe dude. I don't hate that. Uh, give him the hand axe. Now. Iron Lance. Kill this thief. Okay, we got the Torch Staff. There we go. Just keep on moving ahead, trucking ahead. Keep the Torch Staff around, I guess. I could have had five items on Osmond and just dropped it in the convoy, and then Priscilla could have spammed the Torch here. That would have been good. Uh, Marcus needs to heal, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep a one range open on Osmond so that I might go for him. Heal up. And where do we go from there? I was thinking going right. Probably correct. Creep closer to him. We're in turn three. Turn three and we already here? Damn. 
LTC pace, bro. Okay, I think we just weaken. Yeah, weaken with Kanas, kill with any good. Hopefully this hits. I think there might be another pirate as well, but I don't think he's in. Oh, he's, yeah, he is. Okay, so we just like, do this. Iron Sword kill. Get our Elijah kill there. Yep, it's turn three. We that good. Yeah, so we can heal Raven with Sarah, but I'm worried that there's a Pegasus Knight here, and I think there's spawn like here and here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would hit her. I'm just gonna move back like one square. Or actually, I could just stay here. Um, I'm gonna use this to break it and Volnery up. And uh, Sarah doesn't have anyone to heal, which is fine. I'm gonna recruit Fiora and try to kill this other Pegasus Knight now. It might also be good to try and heck. I wanna kill this Iron Lance uh, Cav real bad. Maybe I can do that with Sane. But the hit rate is awful. He's in a forest. That explains a lot. I wanna get rid of some of these enemies. So many of them. But like, everyone here has Garbo hit rates. I mean, the Pegasus Knight is the more important one, right? So we probably just go for him first. Oh, we just don't even kill with Fiora. Well, that settles that. I guess we can go for this then. Oh, we can kill with Matthew, I suppose. I want to feed it to Fiora, but I guess I can't feed him to Fiora anyway. I could weaken with Matthew, heal her with heal him with Priscilla, and then feed the kill to Fiora anyway. I think that's actually what I'm gonna go with. If Matthew just hits once, that's enough. I don't think there's any more packs coming from the bottom, but if there is, I'll probably see him with Matthew this way. Uh, yeah, I don't want Fiora on Race of Nomad, that's exactly right. So I don't want her behind that line. Okay, Matthew get his, did his hit. Matthew good. Matthew doing work. Yeah, no Pegasus Knight's coming in as far as I can see. And then Fiora's gonna have to hit some hits. But this is better, I think. More reliable. Then we can try for a pot shot with darts. If he gets lucky and hits it, then we can finish off that dude. Um, we gotta heal with Matthew, don't forget. Uh, hand axe, this guy. Okay, unfortunate, but that's fine. I mean, Lowen's at high HP anyway, so he's probably fine for this turn. We can try to hit this Javelin, this dude. If we hit it, great. If not, it's fine. Okay, good. Uh, now we can kill him, if we want to go for it. Question is, though, if we miss, that's going to be a bit annoying. Let's see. Uh, what's the hit rate? 57. I think I'm not going to try. I think this guy will just not attack me, or suicide, and both are fine. Because if I, if I attack, and he hits me, then I'm in danger. I think if I don't attack, I'm fine. But I will trade this uh, Iron Lance back to the top. And just wait. I'm gonna heal Matthew, because I don't have anything better to heal anyway. I mean, pretty good odds we were gonna hit one of those attacks, right? Either darts or sing. Just we got a bit more lucky with the 43. Yeah, Sane is Saint here. Yeah, I'm gonna move Hector. I mean, the only thing I can attack him from here is Pegasus Knights. So you're probably not wrong. If anything, I'm worried about the enemies by coming from here and it just opened up the whole thing, but... Oswin killed everything on the island initially. We killed the pirate over here. Everything else should go for Raven, especially if I move away. I guess I'll just, like, do this. This is fine. And Sarah in the forest, in case anything comes at her. I'll still put her in range of enemies. Or still in range of, like, my units. Okay, so now this guy is, like, guaranteed to hit me, basically, but... As long as I dodge the pirates, it should be okay. Yeah, I don't think Hector could reach Elwood this turn, but Elwood is not fighting anything this turn anyway. Maybe the one pirate, but he's not going to need Hector's help for that. Please kill this guy. I hate him. Thank you. This guy did more damage to me than Zoldam in the whole playthrough. Okay, another chip for Ellie. Good. That's nice. That's more Geet's XP. I mean, Lightning Tome is not fun. 25 hit. Dude, hits me anyway. Okay, who needs Weapon Triangle? We do have a chance of running out of vulnerabilities before we kill Uhai, so this is why this is a bit worrying. This guy, whatever. Yeah, Lowen putting in a surprising amount of work. Sane hasn't done a whole lot, because the enemies just go for Lowen instead. But uh, Lowen doing fine. Oh, a Javelin. Oh, that's a surprise. Well, another 34 hit. But this is my 2-use hand, actually. That's broken now. But I have the other one queued up. The, the nearly full one. Still more vulns. I don't think the enemies in this chapter particularly have a lot of vulns. 
Or items to begin with. We have zero damage. Cringe. We're never hitting these though. I, bu I bought a bunch of phones last chapter. The thing is I already distributed them to my units because uh, I also used a bunch last chapter. And this chapter because this chapter is like that. I mean all this can be for nothing if Uhai just decides nah you're not hitting me ever. And I'm going to crit you goodbye. I got a bit lucky I guess and last time I hit like a crucial hit. That would have put me in danger if I didn't hit it. And it scared me. Okay, Parker's doing okay on hits on the Nomads at least. I think these guys, some of them have healing AI, but since I'm occupied the force, it doesn't really matter. Alright, yeah, this steel bow is also annoying, but there's no way I'm ever killing him. I have to equip a javelin to like start three hit three shotting him, reduce my avoid and everything. That's kind of cringe. Okay, that's a good dodge. I'm not worried about him dying this turn, but having to fall instead of attacking Uhai is gonna suck. I mean, it's interesting if they're attacking Marcus instead of Osman, considering Osman has a one range weapon equipped. Okay. I think I saw Pegasus Knights appear again. I think this is pirate over here. Uh, Kana should technically work on a staff rank, I guess. It doesn't reach Raven right now. I can uh, have Sarah take over here. It's so probably safer here. And have Kana's help with Raven. Yeah, it's probably for best to go here. Oh, actually, Raven is like, we can just do though. For Edward again. Yeah, we kind of set it up to that Edward has to keep doing this. That's fine, though. We can get S-Rank Dark on Kanas For more hit and crit. God knows we need it. Remember last Dragon's Gate I tried and I missed like four hits in a row in the same turn? One of them was Kanas's attack. Well, he's not getting S-Rank Dark anytime soon, though. Okay, I mean, we can technically move up Hector, but whatever. I'll just kill this dude. Keep going, Alleywood. You get there eventually. I mean, he's already level 10. <laughs> okay, so what over here? Um, Iron Sword dude. If we kill him, we're basically golden. It's Lolan. Seems fine to me. We can heal him afterwards anyway. I mean, there's a female nomad class. I'm not sure if it has different battle sprites. Okay, that guy gone. I feel like Dart has more business being elsewhere. We could try to do this stuff. There should be nothing here. We could check again with another torch. I probably like doing that. I probably like doing that. What a Petra sentence. Yeah, there's nothing here. We could try to get the lightning tone with Dart, I guess. Or keep him on standby for over here. Maybe it'd be good to have Priscilla come over here. There might be nomads coming in to annoy that though. To frustrate that process. But if Dart hits, we can kill this nomad with Fiora. And maybe bring some Volns to Marcus and Osmond if they really need it. So open up that alleyway. That's probably worth it. And if nothing else, it's a worthy kill setup for Fiora. She would like an Iron Lance though. We we'll just give it to her this turn. Um, I think Iron actually has more hit than Iron Lands, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm just gonna give it to her then. Give you this stuff. Got a kill here. She's not gonna get one rounded by a Nomad anyway. I don't believe. No, Dark is never an enemy. Well, he is an enemy like in 17 next, I guess. I don't think he has. I think he might have heart motors in that chapter, but not here. Okay, now we have the option of sending Priscilla south, which I think we should do because what else is Priscilla doing with Sarah and Kanas around? So we're gonna heal darts while we're here. Can we check out Project F7 Anima when it's complete, like Project Ember. Uh, I haven't really heard too much about it. I'll probably check it out at some point. Okay, uh, Hector should be in range of it. It doesn't do much, but might as well. Sarah, there's no point in being here in particular when Raven is like here. One. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. We could be here. Yes. Since we know there's nothing here now. Okay, the most important part. We're doing that last, apparently. Uh, if we can kill one of these with Oz, when Marcus can move further. That should probably be our priority. So let's try that. Uh, hit rates are, of course, atrocious. Every one of these is on the forest. Um, I'm gonna kill the one that has a steel bow, I guess, if I can, because he's the most dangerous. Marcus, got him. And we can bait Uhai into using his longbow. That does mean that we cannot check the damage against his 
thing, but it doesn't matter because like if we stay further away, we have three vision, right? We have three vision in Fog of War. Uh, like you can see with Oswin, one, two, three. Um, which means we can never check our damage against Uhai with the Killing Edge unless we're within three squares and he's using his Killing Edge, which never happens because he just switches to his Longbow. But I can math out the damage, that's fine. Um, we can give Oswin a one range weapon or we can just keep it on Marcus so that he counters the Nomads. But I think I prefer to just go for Oswin and do nothing. <laughs> Especially because then they'd be out of my way, because there's no square they can attack Oswin from and be in my way. So I think I'll give Oswin uh, the Iron Lance. I think that will do the Canto glitch though, so what I should do is like trade Javelin, straight him back, and then put the Iron Lance on him. It sounds stupid, but if you don't trade any items over, you can get a Canto glitch where you don't Canto after trading items, and it's very dumb. So that's why I did that, and then we vulnerate Marcus again. Get him high back one health and then move him one down so that Uha uses longbow on him and we can see him next turn. That's the important part. And Florin I don't think you can do very much with her. Um, she can support Hector I guess. I guess that's something we can build towards or stand here. Rescue drop people I guess can be helpful. Let's we'll just put it next to Hector for now. Okay so there's another Nomad. Yeah they're going for Osmond that's great. So they'll have a choice. They can attack Osmond for zero or they can attack Marcus and potentially die. Yeah, okay, so they'll be out of my hair now. They can potentially finish off Marcus if he does something stupid. If he, like, dies to Uhai. Also, no, no wor worth noting, the Nomads attacked before Uhai. Okay, so here's what Uhai does to me, right? 8 damage. And he hits me with 43. That's not good. That's why I want Priscilla over here. But first we have to get rid of a bunch of Nomad reinforcements. Can someone check when the last reinforcements show up? Like, the, particularly the Nomads in the bottom. I live. Oh, what's up, Master Annex? Thanks for the 3. Pokemon question, do you like Bidoof? Ooh. I don't particularly like Bidoof. Like, the thing is with Gen 4 for me, is Gen 4 when I start losing interest in Pokemon, so I don't really particularly care about Gen 4. It's a funny meme, though. I enjoy uh, Bidoof memes. Okay, let's see what the math is like. I'm pretty sure what happens with Uhai is Marcus gets O-Code, but not doubled. Oswin gets doubled, but he doesn't get O-Code, so... Uh, but he does face, like... Yeah, it takes six times two. Okay, let's see the math on Uhai first. So five damage with the longbow, but eight with the killing edge if I use a lance. So it's plus three, so it's 24 attack with the killing edge. And 24 means 12 damage on Marcus, so he dies to a crit. And uh, for Oswin, he does... How much attack do you have again? Plus three, 24. 24 minus 15 is nine. So a crit does 27, so if he doubles me, I die to a crit and a hit. And he has like near 100 hit on me, I think. Now we can try to gum him down with Iron uh, Javelins, but then we're going to run out of turns or stuff like that. So actually, I think what I should do is Javelin a bit on him while trying to get rid of the Nomads. Did someone say how many turns they last, the Nomad reinforcements? If not, I'm just going to look it up myself. Because once they're gone, like, the reason I want them gone is Priscilla, particularly. Uh, we can also try to bait them towards Sane, who has lower defenses than both. And we just kill all these weak nomads with our troops over here. That might be good. Uh, let's see if we can kill this pirate this turn first of all. The last wave of nomads is on turn 6. Okay, Sealed Flame, so... It should be turn 6 already right now. Or 5, okay, so we get one more next turn. We can kill one per turn. Okay, so let's try to bait some towards Sane. I don't think it gets doubled by these, as bad as the speed is. Uh, Sane, where are you at? It's right here. 7 speed. They have 10, 11, 10, 11. But the 11 speed has short bow, so they have like 12 attacks, so... They do like 4 damage to him, so that's fine. Especially when he's in a forest, which is not going to be for these. I mean, you can bait like 2, at the very least. That's probably fine. This is, this is the furthest he can go. Uh, Iron Axe. I guess what we can try is rescue drop him closer, but that's the, nah, we can't really do that with the fragile dudes. Let's go here. Uh, darts can also bait them without dying, I think, because he has 8 speed. He doesn't even get doubled. So he can bait them as well. And a bunch of neat weak gnomas are going to come this way. We kill them with Fiora for XP and uh, efficiency. Uh, be careful with Fiora, though. And we try to kill a couple here. 
Uh, I think if I go here with Marcus, it's probably fine. Longbow and Shortbow should have the same mites, five each. Shortbow does have 10 crit though. You'll have, you'll go up to 17 crit. Marcus has 10 luck. And then do you have two Tactician Stars? So he's like 4% crit on me. Maybe we should fall with him. Uh, we should Iron Lance. I think we, in that case, what we do is we Iron Lance this one. Hit them. And we trade the Javelin back to him. So that the Nomads can either choose between attacking Marcus and Oswin and getting murked. Uh, let's see. Let's discard this. Oh, discard. Shit. Um, well, that's goodbye Torch then, I guess. And then I can keep Marcus in range of Ohai, I guess. I don't like it, but if I don't, it's not going to be in vision range, so... Trade Javelin to the top. And Vuln. Okay, so then they might go for Marcus. They might not go for Marcus. It doesn't really matter. Uh, no one needs healing right now. Let's want to set up it closer, I guess, then. I'm gonna keep the force covered though with uh, someone like Matthew Florian's bat is fine. That way we have low and free to do shenanigans here. Let's go here. Go here. Uh, this does leave this spot open, but I, th I think I know what's coming. Uh, I guess this is a turn to Volm Raven. Might as well. Okay, Fiora's fine. Let's go. Okay, you're going for Sane. Good choice. I guess if he double crit and the other nobody hit him as well, he'd be dead. And Raven go get Lightning Tome? Nah, fuck the Lightning Tome. Not moving on from that position. That position is very nice. Keep Sarah safe. Okay, Uhai goes for it again. Please miss. Dude, can you please miss me once? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, there should be like one more nomad this turn. Okay, there's another pirate. That's fine, the Geats grinding, mach grinding machine is in full effect here. The Geats grind. And there's a sword cab I wasn't expecting. I guess that guy was just like standing still all chapter long. Well, good thing we have like most of our squad here right now. And there's another javelin peg. Dude, Raven has been so nice. Holy shit. I guess the one drawback is, of course, Jeremy map, but again, okay, by the time that comes around, We'll have plenty of time to compensate for these levels. Or we can kill him off. Oh, goodbye. That's a full health nomad. That was probably the turn 6 reinforcement. Right? Where's this turn 6? Well, either way, there's another one. This one going for Oswin. And he's also dead. <laughs> goodbye. That should be it for nomads then. Very cool. Okay, you get. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, turn 6. This should, should be the last one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so keep the, Greek, the Geats grind going. Keep the Geats grind going. Can you say that out loud without stuttering? I can't. The bad bro high five. Dragon's Gate today? No, probably not. Because if I... Like, either I'm going to game over here, <laughs> or miss the Gaiden, or I'm going to play 19x. And if I play 19x, then... Uh, I, don't, I don't have the energy for it. Like, I'm already, I've already been streaming for two hours plus. Okay, so these are weakened. This guy's not weakened. Uh, Fiora probably most rival against this one. Also, does least damage against this one. Long sword, this one for a certain amount of damage, 15. Not enough for the kill, though. We have to kill. I think we just prioritize the nomads. And just don't worry about the iron sword guy. That's my uh, my feeling. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. This guy's on a forest. How annoying. Quaint. What's your hit rate? Bad. Oh, you gave away your iron lance. That's right. I have an iron sword here, though. I'm gonna try. I mean, the short bows, whatever. Short bows are kind of whatever. Let's try to hit this one that's on the forest. I don't really care about the iron sword guy. Like, if he hits Priscilla, so be it, right? Yeah, I just have to worry that he doesn't, like, gang up on someone, but who's getting a two shot by anything here at this point? Uh, Dart, if you're hitting anything, it's this guy, not the other guy. Okay, now we can try to get this short iron sword guy out of here, I guess. If need be. Um, we can move. Let's see. I guess Priscilla can go on a fort. I want to like scout with Matthew to see what else is in the fog. I can always move Sane back, I guess. Let's see what's out here. 
nothing. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, we just leave this guy alive, I think. Just move the pegs back or move Scylla back, something like that. Hector doesn't reach the forts. Move uh, her here. I'm gonna try to hit this guy, I guess. Next turn, weaken him, kill with Fiora. Move on ahead. We don't even have to cover the forts anymore this turn because Uhai is not even healing AI yet. Let's heal. I mean, we are low on men's, but we have another one in the convoy. Let's use this one. There's a patch for English FE7 that you can use to get effective weaponry times three instead of times two. It's uh, not very common. I think it's on uh, FEU somewhere. Let's put Sarah in a bush. Uh, it's turn six, so there should be another Pegasus Knight coming out for Raven. He'll be able to handle it for sure. Uh, I mean, if we're weakening him for this... Oh, we have crit. Oh, damn. He's not much crit, though. Six crit. If he crits, he does 15. He doesn't kill me. What if we, like, chip him down, try to go for a kill with the Silver Lance? Probably the play. We're out of volunteers here. We're gonna use this one. The one we have. Uh, let's... Doing this is so tempting, but yeah, no. Uh, let's try... Let's see, if he hits me twice and then crits me... If he hits me three times, I did take 15 seconds off. I still survive, but this is such a low hit chance, I shouldn't even, like, bother. Marcus is much better at doing this. And he doesn't even die from this. Although the shortbow can technically crit, I guess. I think the play is move one right after falling. Keep attacking Uhai without engaging in the killing edge bullshit. And Osman can just kind of chill and do whatever. Uh, I know there's like one more Nomad here that might fight Marcus, so that's probably what we're aiming to fight against. Sure. Uh, this guy probably go for Matthew or probably Priscilla. Okay. That's Uhai. Yeah, he has that crit chance. That's annoying. I mean, if we get him low enough, we can kill him with the silver. That's what we're trying to do, but jeez. The odds are not great. <clears throat> Here you go. Yeah, I gotta love the Sacred Stone's growth changes. Making making trainees worse. Very cool. Alright, Priscilla, that's fine. Sarah can heal that eventually, I guess. Or just leave Priscilla low, because there's no enemies left besides Uhai, I think. Yep, more Geet XP. That's what, that's what we're doing. Keep the grind up. I get very pessimistic about my chances, but you know, there's no one else you can really use this for anyway. Oh, there's not a nomad. That's the other nomad. Okay, once this guy is dead, Priscilla should be safe to go down here and help heal Marcus, and then we can spam javelins pretty safely. It might be safer than my last try, actually. Okay, um, do this one more time. Favorite final room game. Uh, my user favorite is Stracia. Uh, right now, I also really like Shadows of Valentia. Yeah, well, Lin is like level 11. She needs to be at least level. I mean, you can have Hector 20, Elwood 20, and then Lin will be fine, but jeez, dude. Okay, let's let's move down both healers. They might both be useful. And like, I'm, I'm, I have faith in Raven. Like, reinforcements are done, right? Like, they're just, they're just, they're just canceled. They're done. They're over. Um, so we gotta hit this one with two Fiora hits. I think you have more strength than Lone, right? Probably about the same. Eight. So you need one more hit. I guess we use Sane with the long sword. Why not long sword? I mean, while I'm here, I might as well try for the for the Geats map. I don't think it's happening, but we might as well try. Fiora, hit this guy with your Iron Lance, and we do want to keep covering the forts. We can use Hector for that next turn. I don't think anyone needs to support anymore. Uh, we're gonna stay here. Matthew, scout the deep fog. Oh, hello. God damn it. Oh, these guys don't move. I think. I think they just don't move. They just don't go. Just don't go in range of them. <laughs> if they move now, we can kill them with darts. Uh, hold up. Let's go here. Oh god, this guy's moving. What the hell? Oh, this is not another guy. This is not a guy. He hasn't moved either. These are just stationary enemies. Okay. Okay, we have to like really walk on eggshells here to not get hit by this stupid bonk, for example. I'm gonna forget in the heat of the moment for sure. Okay. 
Here I think what we might try is... Put Marcus, like... Keep Marcus here, just like kill this guy or something, or like fall. I'll turn me on, seven. Honestly, kill the monk. Um, maybe I can move Marcus, like... I have to move Marcus out of range of stuff. Maybe... Oh, we can go here and do it. Yeah, just enemy face the monk, I guess. Yeah, just do that. Do this. Or fall. I want to kill the nomad. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's bait him into using the longbow now. That's fine. Just do this. I will kill the pegs with, with dart next turn. And fall with Marcus. There you go. Oh, there's a merm here too. It doesn't really matter though. It's just, these are just enemies that kill for Celeste, you know, in part. Just heal here. Honestly, I should conserve mints. I only have 8, I might need them all. And Priscilla's level is not that urgent. She's already level 7. For Donna, she reached level 10 in chapter 28. I think she'll be fine. Wasting her javelin? What? No. I ain't wasting anything. Yeah, Uhai is insanely powerful. Okay, so he longbows Marcus, but that's good. This means next time we take a less strong counterattack. I do have, yeah, I guess I have more men in the convoy, but it's like, it's about right now. Like this chapter, I don't have Mernus anymore. And Sarah's pretty far up, I might not be able to reach it there. I mean, bosses and farmers just don't work, I guess. There's some bosses that work, like the monsters from FE Three Houses was a good improvement. Nice miss. Oh, goodbye. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can take a forest as we fight uh, this this boss of boss. I can't kill him if I try this. Okay, we wanna go on here, cover the place. I'm gonna bait the pegs now. I have steel lances, right? So Dart is not worried. Uh, that's torch, so we can see them. I don't need much any torch uses anyway. Mm, yep, looking good. Uh, steel lances, yeah, so they're dead. They're basically dead. They're, they're already dead. Omaiwa. Shinderu. Whatever. I don't speak Japanese. Uh, Sarah might be helpful over here. Do I just hit him with both now? I think just with Marcus. Just try to hit him with Marcus. He can't... Oh, I guess if he crits me with short ball, he will, but... Still better odds than a stupid killing edge, so... I mean, this turn we can technically go for the, like, go for broke. And hit him with both the horse layer and that, but it's not happening. Well, the thing about Uhai is, I would agree with that, Matt Waltz, I would agree with that. But the thing is, you can't do Uhai safely. <laughs> There's no safe method for doing it. There's always some risk involved. And like, these hit rates, they're not it. Oh, come on, Marcus. If you get hit by the short bow now, you get crit. It's very bad. But we know it's not happening. It's not happening. Don't worry. Okay, so, Pris can go down here. I really want to heal Pris, but she's not in danger right now. I should just not bother about it. Just not worry. So we can like start healing people in player phase. <laughs> no balls, more like no crits, please. Matthew is honestly fine. He's like central on the map. He's providing vision everywhere. Maybe a little bit to the right is fine. We killed the monk. Let's see if there's anything else up here. Something else here. Nothing out here. We want rescue droppers. We probably want to rescue drop Sarah closer to heal Pris next turn. Precious Pris. Can you heal Pris if I drop you down? Yeah, for sure. Drop down. Move the lights. Same here. Uh, these two are not doing anything right now. I guess I can heal Raven. So enforcements are cancelled. Sleep Uhai insta win. Yeah, nice. Uh... What's it called? He has like 12 res or something. 14 res. I think this is like just one of those bosses has more res than defense because fuck you. Well, Jason, the thing is, I don't got this by any means. Uh, this is the scariest part of the game because I don't get another pre-promote for until like Isadora, but realistically, like Hawkeye is the main savior. Hawkeye and then like Pence. Geats, I guess. Okay, so Shrobo, don't do it. Thank you. Like Marcus is not late game ready, but he's not, he's totally not. Okay, so now a silver bow is a kill. 
Or a Silver Lance is a kill, I think. I think I mapped that out. Oh, you were talking to Louise. I thought you were saying lols. I'm, I'm dumb, never mind. I think this breaks. My javelin? No, I guess not. I guess Oswald's the one with the one used javelin. Okay, dart. Uh, actually, surprisingly lower than I thought, but should be have enough HP for the other guy too. Yeah, the best way for f bosses to work, I think, is either like really good gameplay integration, like story gameplay integration, like the Black Knight kind of, although I still hate him, or uh, an enemy formation around them, like Conquest does that a lot. I think Dart is fine. He's also level 9, so one more level, he's promotion ready. Okay, what else is going down here? So this turn, if we hit our Silver Lance, we're good. Or a Horse Slayer. What we could try to do is hit the Horse Slayer, and if we don't hit it, uh, we rescue him out with, let's see, let's see, Priscilla, but she gets o -code. Uh No one can rescue him. I guess Oswin can rescue Marcus and just stay in range of a stroke bow. And then we can drop with... Um, Fiora can't, can't do it away. I guess Fiora can rescue drop him, and then we can rescue Fiora, or we can rescue. Uh, or we can take drop with Priscilla. Both work, I think. I like the Priscilla method better because it is less sensitive to mistakes. Okay, so now Priscilla still dies in one hit to Uhai, but she doesn't like die to a random encounter anymore. So we can go for this now without a risk, and if we miss. Then we can have rescue drop with Oswin. And Priscilla goes like here. We can Priscilla Canto from here. Uh, she can move through two fours and then one more tile, right? But she can't move any more than that. So afterwards, we'd have to rescue Priscilla with Sane. But we can't do that because Sane is in range. Yeah. So it's, a, it's still really convoluted, but I think it works. Uh, we can also move Oswin here while we rescue Marcus. Is there a reason to do that? Does it help? I don't think... No, it actually doesn't help me at all. Because then they're out of range. Yeah. Let's go up. Let's go up. And hopefully we just hit. And then we just drop the one use javelin if we get the orange bolts. Let's go for that. You guys ready? Here we go. Marcos! Yes! Nice. Well done. You are stronger. Stronger than I expected. Goodbye, Uhai. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, I'm actually really happy with that strategy. That worked out really well. Way before the Gaiden. Way before the Gaiden. Orion's Bolt. Drop the Javelin. Damn. GG. Much stronger. Uhai. Except side quest. Yes, I do like that side quest. I don't think I'm gonna play that though. I'm tired. <laughs> These chapters are exhausting to play, holy shit. I know it doesn't seem like much, like two chapters, but damn. LTC, yeah, I know, right? Big LTC. I'll, I'll quickly go over this map, and then we'll do tier lists, and we're calling it a night. Let's see. So for this one, this is, I think, one of the easier ones for 0%. Uh, but we do want to train Fiora, so I'm going to try to put it in range of a bunch of mages, and just finish him off on turn 2 or something. Like, finish one off on turn 2. Because we got plenty of time. We already fed her, like, one level, I think. Uh, there's no point in bringing Matthew because he has 11 speed and the boss has 14. So no silver card for me. I don't think there's anything else worth stealing anyway. Uh, we want to get the Sword Weaver for sure. But we get it back to killing this guy. I need to look up how Kashuna does. Uh, later, Ferris. Have a good time. Let's see, Fiora... She has 773. If we give her, like... If we just let her miss three javelins, she'll have 776. And we just keep her at that for the rest of the game. Ryan's Bolt. Uh, we can promote Wrath with it. That's pretty good. I think it's the only Bolt we get quickly, so it's actually, like, kind of important to have it. And if not, it's it's just gold. It's, five, it's 5k. It's pretty good, too. But I think we'll just promote Wrath. And yeah, Wrath joins at level 9, so that's pretty nice. Uh, get rid of this jav. Get a couple... I think we just have to definitely bring Priscilla. Bringing Sarah was a great idea, by the way. I really like what she did last map, which is not a whole lot, but she could have been really good. I think this is roughly what we want to bring, actually. Maybe not Matthew, but like uh, Fiora. And then maybe darts over Oswin, although honestly, it doesn't really matter very much. I think we bring Oswin because he does more damage to Kashuna. Uh, and Dart is less accurate as well. He's less good weapons. 
Yeah, this is probably the squad we bring. Uh, if I really want to bring Kilkashuna, then maybe darts could be useful. But you probably just like 20 hit, it's like whatever. Now nah, we're definitely trying to use Wrath, because Wrath has... Like, we killed Wrath in Limbo just to get joints with 9 uh, levels under his belt instead of 7. And a B bows instead of C. And Wrath is actually like, really good in 0% growth, or just like a... He's actually like kind of good in general. Geet 6 B. Oh, well... <laughs> We actually just have bench, like Sane? No way. <laughs> we train Sane, we better bring him. Like, how could this would Kent have been instead? These guys don't have much speed, right? But it's still like fast enough to not get doubled by Kent. I guess in this map, Kent and Sane doesn't really make a difference, but Sane would have had... Sane is worse accuracy. Yeah, Brave Bow, if I get it from Dragon's Gate, which I guess I will. It's not too hard to get. And uh, just bows in general are nice to have as like a high rank weapon. Yeah, Dart is nice, it's just, I just don't have the slots for him right now, but I will deploy him for Dragon's Gate, I think, because he's one of the better units at base that I ha have right now. Like, right now my units are just, like, so... limited in, in options. Like, Donald doesn't use Dart in 0% because unit slots, and he's, like, he needs movement more often. But I'm playing slower, so I need, like, more firepower. And I, I could bring Osmond to stuff as well. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Uh, let's save... Save a bunch of slots. Close this thing. Put on some Flower of Enchantments. Let me know if the volume's right. It's a little low, probably. But it gets louder soon. What are these DMs? Oh, it's just Mia. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, let's get that... Wait, why is my DS turned on? Should not be turned on. Hold up. Why are you turned on, 3DS? Just be turned off. Kind of weird. Oh, I think it was just a... Uh... Okay, never mind. It was not turned on at all. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, tier list. Tier list, tier list, tier list. Should still be here. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, here it is. The tier list. Do we have to make any changes? We do have to make additions, for sure. Let's see, I have a Dart. I'm just gonna put him here right now so you can see him and Fiora. Volume is fine, right? Maybe a little lower, maybe it's a little loud. Okay. These are our new units. Obviously they're not E tier. Obviously they're better than that. Uh, darts. Honestly, I would say he's a B tier for this chapter. He did, like, he did more than all these all these dudes. Like Kent kind of went AFK for this one. I mean, he's not gone. I mean, he's more like a high C tier now. He still helped us, but you know, we gotta give Dart his credit. He won under those Pegasus Knights. He blocked a bunch of shit. Lowen honestly kind of held up. He's honestly better than Dart in this chapter, even. And Lin in A tier, yeah. Uh, Lin is gonna drop a little bit, a little bit. Pe don't tell Peeved. Don't tell Peeved. Hector didn't. Hector did a couple things. He did more than Lin for sure. Lin is moving down. Uh, probably around this area. Should still put her above Urk. He didn't do anything. Honestly, these boys can move down to C now. They still helped us, but every time, they, every stream they don't show up, they move like a tier down. I think that's fair. Yeah, Lin is not actually A tier, don't worry. We do, Lin killed every boss in the mode, basically, except for one, maybe two. Uh, Lucius is no longer AFK, actually. Well, he was, because he's like benched. Thank you for your dark business. Yo, what's up, Davi? Thanks for the three. Yeah, only Uhai died today. Uh, not even Zoltam, just Uhai. The only person with a face that died. Um. Fiora, I would say, is like C tier. She hasn't like, I just fed her kills. She didn't do anything special. She could have rescue dropped, I guess. She could have been helpful. Any other changes? I mean, my wife who promoted, but I, Raven was too clutch. Sane was really, actually we've got to move Sane up a bit. He might drop down later, but for now, like, Sane... Sane with that dodges on the pirate ship? That made the map so much easier. Fuck, people was watching after all. Making real life money seems at least eight tier to me. That's true. That's true. That's true. But I mean, it's it's we gotta take these streams into account. She didn't do anything last time, she doesn't do anything this team. She's okay. I mean, next stream, she will be deployed at least once, unless I die in chapter 19x. Or 19xx. I could also die there, I guess. I gotta make sure I know about the Kishuna mechanics and everything. Okay, Mernus. Mernus died twice today. I think we gotta move him down a bit. He didn't do a whole lot. 
Mernus has died a lot. Even like, Mernus took a kill from Kanas. Like, remember when that one Pegasus Knight flew up instead of down? That could have been Kanas' turn 1 promotion in this chapter. But instead, he ruined it. Mernus, you're killing me. We gotta go to A for Geats to your XP. I mean, he probably did more than that. Ah, I activated more. Nah, we gotta keep that where he is. The XP will, like, when we get Geats, we can just instantly move all Lords to S tier, alright? I did give Nils all levels, yes, because we... Um, why did I do that? I think I just kind of did it. <laughs> I think I was like, it was already level 5 or something, so I just like, finished it off. I know how it happened. I did grind, I actually grinded Nils like pretty consciously in the mode to, to do that, just because people are always asking for it, and I think it's not possible to do reliably in 0% growth, let alone fast enough before Katrina escapes. But, you know, we gotta try. 19x is a fun chapter, I don't mind 19x, although the bosses are kind of bullshit, but it's kind of an interesting chapter. 19xx, it's kind of eh, it's whatever. Low and A tier. Low one wasn't even deployed for the pirate ship though. He was kind of good. He, he survived on the fort, that's what he did. I think, I think B tier is fine for him. Uh, Florina probably should move down, because she only was in a normal chapter, she just recruited Florina. If anything, she's like lower than these boys now. She can be next to lane. They're pairing, right? And Lowe was pretty clutch in this chapter, I will say. I like Matthew, he stole the Elysian Whip, he stole the Guiding Ring. He gave us Torch Vision, which was honestly really helpful. I like Gee where I like I like Matthew where he is. Lucius, well AFK kind of meant that like it's mostly for limo units to have rejoined us, but someone requested last episode, the last stream, that we keep Lucius in AFK because he hasn't been deployed. Um, but technically he's there, he just hasn't done anything. Like I haven't deployed him a single time, he hasn't attacked anything. I just recruited him with Raven and did nothing else with him, so in a way he is still AFK. He might as well not be here. But if I even deploy him once, he'll go right up to like C or B tier or something. Lucius is not terrible. Uh, like, I'm surprised Donald even managed to train up Lucius, because Lucius was like base level 3 in 17. He killed like he killed like one armor knight. In 17. Maybe even chip one armor knight. And then he wasn't deployed again. Until I think Crazed Beast. That's when he started training again. Actually, Living Legends, Crazed Beast, and then 26. Next night, Chris between Ken alone. Whichever one is alive. <laughs> Whichever one is alive probably gets it. Um, if they're both level 10, I'll just look at their bases. I'll have to take a look at their bases. I think. I think. Kent is at his limbo bases, or his, uh, his Hector mode bases, so they're probably. fine. I think Kent wins one speed over Lowen, that's about it. And then Lowen has like maybe slightly butter bulk. I don't know for sure. Anyway, uh, I am hella tired. I am going to sleep. Uh, I had a good time tonight. I'm really glad that we beat these really two difficult chapters uh, with no casualties. But everything has to come to an end. I'll see you all next time, uh, which is Wednesday. There should be a stream then. Uh, it's going to be another PvP soon. I think tomorrow. Uh, which will have a very familiar chapter, and then um, more Awakening, uh, more uh, the, the finale of the Siege, what's it called? Uh, Slav Defense, Slav Defense. <laughs> and then next time we'll have the good old Dragon's Gate slash Ion Kishuna special. Look forward to it. I'll see you around. Oh yeah, go ahead, check out the Excel Emblem stream, I guess, the FE12. That's a good idea, I'll link it. It's not a bad idea, I haven't braided Excel Emblem in a while. Let's see. Brief thing incoming. I think he's still time traveling. There you go. Goodbye. Have fun, guys.